they have the biggest testicles relative to body size of any male on the planet. Hey everyone, Slayer here to introduce Nasty and Friends from BDC Studios, a podcast where two friends who met in the Army Reserves get together and talk about shit. One's a firefighter and the other has a funny laugh. So sit back, get rid of your kids, and hold on to your because it's about to get nasty, friends. Welcome to Nasty and Friends with Pack Nasty and Spicy Motherfucking Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nasty and Friends podcast. I am Spicy Brown. I'm joined here with one of my favorite Italian people on the planet, Pack Nasty. Hey, thanks for inviting me back, man. I'm, I'm <laughs> glad to be here. Um, yeah, back in BDC Studios. Uh, we got a special guest, as always. It's from the bottom of the barrel, the worst type of fucking people. Uh, you want to go ahead and <laughs> introduce him? <laughs> yeah, we have, a, we have a guest today, like my man Pack Nasty said. He's a guy that we've want, wanted on the podcast since it started. Uh, due to scheduling conflicts, due to a deployment, due to all sorts of shit, we're just now getting them on. This is episode 48, and we're in BDC Studios. We're here with... Uh, 49. Episode 49. You know what? Edit it, we're going to start from scratch. <laughs> we're going to start from the beginning. <laughs> episode 49, we're here at BDC Studios, me, Pag Nasty. Our guest, like I said, is somebody we've been wanting on the podcast forever. Uh, he's the 245 OG, triple OG. We all Paul? go way back. There's a lot of stories we want to get into. Uh, he's a he's a soldier. He's a fireman on the civilian side. O- overall, great dude. Uh, Harry. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> uh, excited to be here. It's uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, shit, I'm just ready to rock. Let's, yeah, dude, it's, it's been a long time. Thing. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been, I, I haven't seen you since deployment. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, way I, before that too. Since yeah, it's moved, probably so. been at least at least probably two years since yeah. I've seen at least. Pack nasty here, but yeah, sure. uh, spicy. I, I think I saw you right before I left. Maybe I don't really remember. But <laughs> yeah, I, don't I, mean, I went yeah. to the "You're Going Away" party at DJ's, but then since then I saw you help me clean yep. some gear. Yep, and I think yep. that was the only time I saw. I have, you. I saw haven't you had a chance to hang out yet. I know, or, dude. Our uh, schedules just don't match up very <laughs> yeah, well right so now. So now, for people who don't know you on the the civilian side, because you are still just in the reserves, um, you're on a department as well. Yep. Now does. You, um, what shift are you on? Does you guys have the same schedule, or we do? We work the exact same schedule as uh, Spicy does over here. Um, uh, I'm on a different shift than he is. He's on uh, a shift, a right? shift, yeah. and I'm on the C shift. So yeah. our days don't match up very well. But I'll have to remember that because he, uh, when we get together to podcast every year, uh, he gives me the wallet schedule, oh, and yeah. I keep it at my since I work from home. I just keep it at my work desk. Yeah. So if I'm like, hey, looking at podcasts, I can just or looking at dates to podcast, I'll just grab his schedule. So I'm always looking. I'm like, oh, because I know like is Whiny on B. Yeah, Wani's on B. He's on C. Mm. C? Oh, so yeah, he's, he's on, on C. C. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. On B. yeah that's yes. what it was. Yep. So, yeah, I'm always scheduled. So, I'm like, so now now that I know that you're on C, I'm like, oh, Harry, you're working these days yeah. and stuff. So, <laughs> you, you know, you bring up this the, the whole pocket schedule. Yeah. We were in the, the same schedule, but we don't have any of those. <laughs> so, we, I actually go look steal at the, I look at his website <laughs> to, to see what days or who's working what. Or my, I send my wife to that too. I'm like, right. hey, if you need to know dates down the road, this is when I'm working. Or, yeah. you know, That's go funny. to this website. Just go to, the, go to the union hall, dude. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. I, get, yeah. I sell them for, a... I think, like 50 cents. So, I usually buy like eight of them right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I get one. I, I'm sure yeah, Cam mom, gets one. Yeah, yeah. Cam yeah. gets one if she's like, you my mom, my sister. She, like, dude, the best to have, man. Oh, I keep yeah. it like with a little alligator clip, and mm-hmm. I always feel so official. So I'll pick it up, I just like flip it up, and it makes that <laughs> click. I'm like, hmm, and I'll like look at the back. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's just the best. But no, man, yeah, like uh, you and I joined the the 245th at the same time. Yeah. I think you were. We, we went through fire school together. That's yep. where you and I met. Um, what year was this? It would have been 07, 06, yep. 06. Because I, I would have graduated high school in 05, and I left January of 06, and I got to the fire school um, April, because it was my mom's birthday. So I was there from April to August of 06. Is that... That's right. I was thinking 2005. No, because I would have, because I would have. Gra- I've been I, in for so long. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Because I grad. <laughs> the reason why I remember because I graduated in 05, yeah. so I knew I obviously wouldn't have left yeah. in, in January of 05. So, yeah. yep. So I mean that. Sounds was... suspicious. Like, you guys <laughs> it was. It was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we might not be. We just undercover. Yeah. I went through stolen valor. <laughs> I, I I know that I joined in December of 2004, and I left for basic training. In, I thought it was 2005. Nope. No, sir. Yeah, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Yep. <laughs> uh, let us set up the scene. We're in BDC Studios. In the background, like always, our man Harry picked out 
hood rat fights. So we have that on the background of YouTube right now. It's two broads on t- oh, once oh, got her back full mount. She's doing head, giving her shots to the back of the head, pulling hair, and now she's kicking her in the head. So this should this just should get pretty crazy with hood rat fights. Uh, that's a great pick, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of my favorite solid. favorite picks. So. Absolutely. Yeah, I couldn't do that. like I said. I couldn't decide between bum fights and this one. And <laughs> it takes me back to my deployment. Both of them do. So yeah, yeah. Well, we definitely yeah. want to get in, into your deployment, but yeah, I mean, just to say, obviously, bottles are popped, uh, smoke's yeah. flying, so it's just good to be back back in the saddle, Absolutely. so to speak. Now, um, you did bring us some gifts. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever come on the show, you don't have to get us gifts. We do appreciate it. We do not know what they are. We told you to save them. We do know it's a drink because yep. uh, you did you did say that. Um, I want to take some guesses. Uh, Spicy, what do you think that that it is? Oh, do you want? I, can I give a hint? Maybe maybe that'll give it away. So maybe I shouldn't. Give yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Don't oh, give it away. We'll I, I think I, I think it would give it away for you, but it would, for you. Or, I don't have okay. a hint for you. I, but, I think uh, it's a Smirnoff at least, like okay. some That's type a of solid. a Smirnoff. That's a solid. It's solid. Yeah. Uh, I, I just want to say, I, I yeah. If you come on the show, we don't expect a gift. But if you bring one, it's awesome. Right. Uh, most people bring alcohol because <laughs> it's just a great gift. They know the so, crowd. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it's going to be. I'm excited. I was thinking it could be a Mad Dog. It could be a Smirnoff. It could be a Zima. It could be a 40 ounce. It could you be something. think about Mad Dog. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. I'm glad it's not Mad Dog. It sounds like it's not Mad Dog. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and bust that out whenever... Uh, yeah, and we do well, appreciate it, man. So that's awesome. Well, I did this when you got married. Yep, yep, yep. I figured. I so, I've told that story on this podcast. I, I, before. I did it's it to you when you're yeah. what, like you were sitting at the head table, and <laughs> I, I did it to you then. So I'm going to yeah. do it again. Oh, I appreciate another time. It. So and they you guys are the big ones. They're the big ones, but <laughs> so like I don't expect you guys to just get down on one knee here and do it here all at once okay. because right. we all have our drinks now. So yeah, right. plus I'm hungover. <laughs> yeah, so I. <laughs> In that case, I won't make you guys. Oh, well, I appreciate it. traditional way. Thank so. God. Well, here, dude, we got you something, too, brother. Why you get <laughs> I that can't ready? wait. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's probably Zima. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> you know what? I haven't had one of these since I was in high school. Yeah, so. and the thing is, is, oh, dude, they're even cold. I appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> it's the fucking pint. Smirnoffs. Oh, shit. So, yeah, that's fucking gangster as shit. I actually stopped at uh, a well-known ga- or, uh, grocery store around here. Oh, yeah. Uh, to pick these up. I didn't see them, so I had to ask the clerk. I said, where do you find these at? <laughs> and they said, oh, they're right over here. I said, perfect. All yeah. right, I'll get two of them. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Let me see the bag that it came in. I'm going old school. We got it. Oh, thank you. We got, I'm going to drink it out. That's how my dad used to drink. He would get like... Uh, like Fridays on his way home from work, he'd get like a 40 of Miller High Life, the champagne of beers, and he would just have it in, in the bag, you know? Yep. And you could always just hear him. He'd just yep. keep it between his legs on the 11 mile drive home <laughs> and just sip on it when he got That's home. Awesome. Um, yeah, at some point, dude, like, That's gangster. It probably won't last because the bag's a lot bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> Premium malt beverage, yeah. natural lemon lime flavor. Perfect. Well, cheers this, here. This this cheers. Weird, this my not... citrus flavor, so yeah. perfect. <laughs> Thanks again, buddy. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Been a while since I had a Smirnoff and I got fucking. I haven't oh. gotten. <laughs> <laughs> and we're assholes because we don't even have a Jolly Rancher yeah, for you. Yeah. So it's just. I might, I might just drink this straight. <laughs> so you're going to have to. <laughs> so for the podcast, uh, I heard Zima was back. Yeah, everybody was excited. It was a thing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, I got a six pack. <laughs> I told Marty we had a, had a surprise for him. Yeah. During the podcast, he busts out a six pack. He bought a six, a, a six pack of Zima, so we had twelve. Of them. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and these are uh, the remaining amounts. Yeah, yeah. So we drank so. a bunch of them. Uh, That's why it's expired. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. It's not actually expired. But. It's not going to taste any worse <laughs> no, <laughs> or any better. It might actually taste better, right? dude. I'm expires. telling you, if we had Dollar Rancher, do you have the Pedialyte packet? Yeah, we could do that. It'll fuzz up. It will make it taste way better than that. What it yeah. is, if you want it, or nope, I'm taking. Dude, I love straight. it, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, he's got balls. He's going straight through. Straight no, Zima. no filler. Straight yeah. Zima. <laughs> yeah. So going, kind of going back to the the drinks that I brought you guys, the mm-hmm. Smirnoffs. Um, so the first time I ever drank and got drunk was off a of Smirnoff. Oh, hi, it's Mike's Hard Lemonade for me. <laughs> and it was the worst thing ever. Oh, how many did you uh, did you drink? Do you remember? I don't remember. Yeah. Probably at that time I had never drunk drank before, so yeah. it was probably. Three or four. Or yeah, I think I had, I had a sixer oh. of my yeah, I, I, can, I can remember just saying, I can't feel my tongue and my lips are going numb. <laughs> and, 
And shortly after that, we got pulled over and none of oh, us got in trouble. God. So we got lucky. Damn. <laughs> was the guy driving drunk, probably? No, I actually, uh, none of us were. I, I mean, at that time, I was, but oh, okay. the other people in the vehicle Okay, were yeah, not. that's good. Dude, I didn't know that. I didn't know that about that you. That was a that's, long time. I probably, probably did at some point. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, because you're old as balls, yeah, so. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm really old. Old as fuck. <laughs> yep. It's your true. loose skin and your old balls. <laughs> yep. I've got the the... The skin flakes falling off. In the <laughs> that reminds me of uh, Gold Member, where he like the who was it that like eats his own skin? And Austin Powers Gold Member. It's one of the old guys, isn't it? Never heard of him. I oh don't know God. what you're talking about. Well, that fell flat. So let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, no, we're, we're glad glad to have you. It's I'm, always glad I'm, to get two, four, five in any capacity, more than two of them together. So, I'm you know, super pumped for this. Yeah, I, I've representing been, the fucking yeah. I actually, I actually even wore our, uh, our old t-shirts. I still had one lying around. My so. my military one that I have, I hunt in every year. Yeah. It's like my hunting shirt. Oh, nice. So um, Speaking of hunting, I told you to say it for the podcast. Yeah. You said that you're going hunting uh, this year, right? Yep. Uh, what kind of hunting was it? Uh, we're going to pheasant hunting. Oh, have you ever gone? I um, mean, any pheasant hunting or any other hunting in general? When I was... When I was in high school or around that time frame, I'd go out and go dove hunting with my older brother okay. every once in a while. But other than that, no, I haven't really hunted. Right. Have you uh, been practicing, like, shooting blue rock at all, trying to... No, I no. just found out that I'm going, like, this last week. <laughs> oh, so. nice. Well, I will give you a hint. If you are going to do take some practice of Vito, he used to work at um, at a range where he would, like, reload shells and uh, where you can go and pay and people pull blue rock for you and he would pull it. Mm-hmm. And the... The it, it's I know it's gonna be counterintuitive, but when you're shooting birds and stuff, don't you keep both eyes open. You yeah. don't close one. Yeah. I didn't know that when I was practicing, and then when he said it, it's like, oh yeah, it's a lot easier. So if you didn't know that, now you know. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, and they, like you guys know from our military experience, they they actually train us to try and keep both eyes open. Also, when right. you're shooting an M16, yeah. so, but or nobody M4, does but that. nobody ever does. That. I'm I'm a lot better yeah. shot with a rifle with one eye closed. Yeah, absolutely. So, but, uh, yeah, so, dude, it'll be fun. Um, eye. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where are you going? Is it just around here? Uh, or? I, I'll so my town. wife's uh, parents' dad is actually setting it up. Oh, um, nice. I it's I know it's, wet, like, central part of the state. Mm. Other than that, I really don't know exactly where it is, so. Oh, that, dude, that, that'll be fun. Yeah. So I I'm haven't pretty gone. pumped for it. I, I think we're going in November. I think that's usually when yeah. the season is. Yeah, so, season starts sometime. Yeah, in because it it'll mix. It like kind of runs into deer season, mm-hmm. and deer season is always the second week of November. Yep. So, but uh, yeah, dude, it'll be fun. You have to keep us updated. Like, yeah. let me know yep. whatever you guys but, get. Send me pictures. And um, I was. Uh, do you know the difference between the pheasants that you're shooting on, like what to shoot and whatnot when you uh, go pheasant hunting? Not really. So when you go, you shoot males, mm-hmm. um, and then they're. Uh, they're the, the ones with the colored faces, yeah. like the different colors, yeah, and then yeah. they usually make like a squawky noise or whatever when they get up. So, but yeah, man, you got that half second decision. Like, do you see the head? Do you don't? Like, yeah. do you shoot? So, so. so you just don't shoot, just randomly. <laughs> well, you oh. can, but if you kill a hen, it's technically illegal. Oh, so, okay. well, then um, we probably shouldn't do that, <laughs> right? But I'm, I'm sure not into doing illegal things. I've never done anything illegal. Right, in my right. Life. Of course not. <laughs> um, but. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll go over that information. Unless things have changed, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you can only shoot males. But I have noticed lately that there's not a lot of pheasants around. Yeah. Like back in my home area, I've talked to quite a few people, and they're like, man, we haven't seen as many pheasants. And they've been really dropping off over the last couple of years. Yeah, so. I think last year when they when they went, uh, it's weird. Like my wife goes every year with her, her dad. Does, does she like shoot and stuff? Yeah. Or she, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure so, she grew up doing it. Like, yeah, so... Um, I don't know. I, I think they got a few, but I don't. I don't know how many it actually was. Mm. They they actually shot or anything. So okay, no, that makes sense. What kind of shotgun are we talking here? I'm I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna do twelve gauge. Yeah, yeah, that's usually a ten twelve is <laughs> yeah. what most people use. Yeah. So I mean, you could use. I mean, you, you could use a four ten if yeah. you wanted. Um, but you know, it's just depending on. But yeah, um, have you ever seen the videos of guys uh, pheasant hunting with uh, bow and arrow? Oh, that would oh. be, dude. It's <laughs> fucking. We'll have, we'll, have when to we're done. We'll look at it. Shot. But the thing with it is, it has like a, a thing on the tail. So when you shoot it, it like catches and it spins. So you don't just like shoot it like up in the air and it goes like eighty yeah. yards. Oh, it's like yeah. reduced or whatever. But dude, they're phenomenal. <laughs> Zima not sitting well. Oh, uh, it's going down pretty smooth. <laughs> mm-hmm. But no, it's uh, 
Um, it, it's fun, dude. It's insane how good those guys get. Oh, bad, with, so we'll have to check out some videos yeah, for it. One of the podcasts that I listen to, uh, the guy does a lot. He's actually just started picking up uh, bow hunting. and It's something that I think would be really cool to actually get into. Dude, it, dude it's awesome. I, I, haven't, I have a bow. Um, I need to get it all like fixed and stuff. And I haven't gone bow hunting since I was a young kid. But even if you don't... Um, actually take it and actually go out hunting just archery in general if mm-hmm. you're just doing target practice dude it's yeah. so much fun because there's there's nothing else like you have to do everything right to get that arrow where you want it to go you have to work mm-hmm. on your breathing you, you know i mean and so you forget about all your other problems it's like a meditation you know you're just out there shooting yeah. and it's so much fucking fun yeah. man it is a blast so just doing that um we should get together man yeah. get Vito have to I come out cool, and stuff yeah, yeah it would yeah. absolutely have you ever shot like a compound bow or no. anything nope oh, dude, it's, it's i'm so just gonna do, get a stick and one string is how <laughs> i'm gonna do it you can there are people <laughs> who people uh do uh just build it get some fucking paracord yeah exactly yeah <laughs> build my own yeah have a stick <laughs> that <laughs> curves <laughs> you, <laughs> you know uh, goes around yeah there's actually one of the guys i work with on my shift he he uh bow fishes oh did you, my yeah. dad used to do that as well done that because that's harder too because like when it's in the water you gotta like judge for the refraction yep. so you gotta like shoot underneath and stuff but yep. yeah dude it's crazy like just to see i've seen videos of people doing it off bridges yeah they hit and they got like the real the real, real yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty it. yep. sweet man like that's that's the way to do it especially um i think back in like 1991 in my home area i think it was 91 it was like pretty bad flooding or it was like 94 somewhere in there it doesn't matter and uh, my dad would go out and just like go to places where carp mm-hmm. were caught yeah. and couldn't get back out and just fucking just, pick them off yes. man it was awesome yep. that's shit you don't see a lot yeah. anymore but once you go down to the river and shit so you probably see it more often but yeah i'm pretty pumped for it i've never i i have but i haven't hunted I oh yeah truly hunted right yeah i, I one of my bucket items would be to actually go deer hunting. Yeah, dude, it, it's it's a blast. I mean, we can. Go, I mean, the thing is, like with Nebraska, as of right now, it's pretty easy to get a uh, get a permit. You don't mm-hmm. need a hunting license. You just need the permit. Which I'm sure you have your hunter safety course yeah, card. Yeah, yeah, it's so, been since I was in high school. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know if it, that's something that needs to be. Re- no, nope, no. Nope, you just take it once, and yeah. you just have to. Uh, just make sure you have your card, and then when you go deer hunting, you just get the permit, and usually you don't have to put in a draw. You can just buy one mm-hmm. uh, up until then, and uh, yeah, man, it's, it's fucking sweet. I, I love it. I want to go. We want to try to put, like, a, an elk hunt yeah, together be- and, like, either, like, go out to Colorado or Vito. He has um, the Cabela's credit card, mm-hmm. and so he does. He pays all his bills on that credit card and everything just to get the points because I think it's, yes. like, every – I think it's every hundred dollars you get a penny back, okay. and he's getting ready. Like he uses it so much for everything, he's getting ready to buy his second gun. That that is money from the credit card. Like yeah. he puts no outside money in yeah. for it. And so um, when you get up to be like you 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 know buy so much on the card, you're like platinum members and stuff, and you can like it's a. I don't remember how much it is, but it's a hunting trip that they'll take you out and they give you food. They, mm-hmm. It's a guide, but it's discounted down because you're that member of Cabela's, yeah. so we might do that. And like I said, it is on the kind of expensive side, but that's, I mean, it's if you do like us three kids, like my uncle or something mm-hmm. like that, I mean, you could yeah. split it up and everybody goes with guides and shit. I think that's probably the, what we're going to try to do. Yeah, so. I have a, one of my cousins, he lives out, out in the Denver metro area, and he... Uh, him and his daughter go uh, elk hunting every year. Mm-hmm. Dude, one else. elk would feed. Yeah. Fucking, I, I would want it. I'd give it away too, yeah. you know, because yeah. um, I've given you guys some deer and just a, you know a bunch of other people. It's great. And, we got those deer steaks upstairs. Bought, we don't have to cook tonight. Yeah. yeah, I was just I just bought a, a deep freeze, so yeah. I have yeah. nothing oh, in it. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Shouts out deep freezes. They're yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pumped for it. Uh, we actually helped one of my good friends move. Uh, he moved back to Florida, so. They're like, we can't take it with us. We actually forgot about it. Oh. Our trailer's already packed, so you want it? I was like, yeah. Yep. And they're like, uh, give me 75 bucks for it. Like, perfect. perfect. All yeah. right. You is it a big bucks. one or is yeah, it just a small? It's, it's actually just about the size of the spice. Yeah, so I have one that's probably half that size. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't. It holds just what we have and... Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's fucking phenomenal. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pumped for it. Now we just need to get a, uh, a membership to one of the big grocery stores. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like Costco or yeah. Sam's or whatever. Yep, so we can yeah. go and buy bulk and freeze it. Or you so. can just buy like a side of 
Yeah, that's yeah, probably the way to go. Or yeah. half a beef, yeah. something like that. Yeah, and you go in with people, you know, yeah. to do it. It's great. Um, that so J Pag's uncle, he they have a dairy farm and stuff, mm-hmm. and so their parents, her parents, always buy a cow or half a cow every year, and then they'll we'll split it between them and uh, her parents us and then her two brothers and yeah. their families and so the, like i think last year we got a bunch of steaks and like 30 sticks of beef and it's from his farm so it's like super yeah. like you know farm fresh and nice. stuff it's it's great not yeah. having to buy hamburgers oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, the price hamburger. crap out of that at the grocery store oh so. it's fucking crazy we camus's family they have a ranch mm-hmm. and they have yep. cow so we don't buy hamburger yeah. Every time we go up there, they'll give us they'll give us steaks, they'll give us brisket, they'll give us pounds of the those two pound. Our most most of our deep freeze is two pound tubes of hamburger. Mm-hmm. Uh, we ran out once like six months ago, and I had to go to the store. I bought oh. uh, <laughs> ground beef, and I was like, "What the fuck? Why is this shit so expensive? <laughs> yep. This shit should be free." <clears throat> like I'm yeah. spoiled, you know. <laughs> yep. Right. <laughs> and then just be careful with your fucking deep freeze, man, because you always hear the stories of people's mm-hmm. getting unplugged or shit like yeah. that. Well, uh, our old roommate Rob, he um, answered this ad to where this woman was selling her deep freeze, yeah. and it was out in her garage. And she was out there, and she's like, "What the hell is that smell?" Oh. And her her two year old had gone out and unplugged it, Ew. so she opened <laughs> it up, took a whiff, and everything was like melted down. Ew. And so she just <laughs> and she just plugged it back in, and she was selling it as is. Oh. Like so, she just re- and, and you know Rob, he likes yeah. to fucking turn yeah. over yeah. a buck, which is good for him. Yeah. And he said when he's he smelt it, it too, yeah, yeah, he's great at it. When he smelt it, he almost threw up. Oh yeah. But he like, I mean, he I don't know what he did, but he put like a bunch of bleach, and he like let it. Soak in there like he did that maybe a couple of times let it set out in the sun then he fucking sold it for like i think he made like a hundred or over a hundred dollars on, oh, on it but it he's like surprise I, me yeah he's like i got out most of the smell he goes if you really could tell but he's like i didn't tell the person and he's yeah. like i mean he goes you can make if you got down deep and could smell it but yeah. for what it's worth he's like i'm sure it won't be that yeah. bad if the way he cleaned it yeah, but yeah. yeah because you i mean she, that's so fun she's like nope fuck this just plug oh, it in and dude, just <laughs> I, did this, I did the same thing that that, that happened to me oh yeah. my god so at the old place uh me messing fox when we were all living there yeah. on, on the old house yeah and uh we had the deep fridge it wasn't as big as the one i have now the deep freezer but it, it wasn't as big as that, but it was stacked. Meston had a shit ton of deer meat in there. Mm-hmm. We had hamburger in there. He had, like, pork butts, all that stuff. And I remember uh, it was a summertime, and I went into the garage, and I immediately smelled it. And then there was Did you trail. know what it was right oh, away? immediately. There was a trail of blood going from the deep freeze oh, to the God. middle of the, of the garage oh. drain. And it just, like, as soon as you get in the garage, it's... It smelled so fucking bad. I plugged it in, and then I ended up. I was like, I'm not fucking cleaning this. Yeah. I, I dumped it. Yeah, and I just dumped it. And like, Speaking of which, did you kill somebody out in your out in your street out here? Oh, what? Is oh, that trail? Yeah, the street? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I was like, I thought you were better at killing people, you know? And yeah, I don't know hiding the bodies. I don't know what that trail is in the middle of the street. That brown trail. I don't know. Somebody might have got slaughtered and yeah. drove by a car. I don't know. Yeah. Well. You know, you do live in a pretty bad neighborhood. Yeah, rough, <laughs> yeah that's why we're watching the hood rat fight. You got to make sure if your neighborhood's on it or yep. you, yep. you need to learn some it's, moves. It's so. training. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that's, deep freezes are, that's, that's disgusting. Fun. We've been lucky enough to where we've noticed. So we had our deep freeze out in our garage, but the outlet, for whatever reason, will work part of the time and not. And j just happened to pull in and see that the light was off. And there was, it, like, it must have just shut off, like, within either a couple hours or stuff. There wasn't, like, the ice on the side wasn't even going down. So we just moved it into our laundry room, and it's, it's been good there ever since, which is nice. Just I mean, even though, like, our garage is connected to our house, but we still, I'd just rather just walk mm-hmm. downstairs. And yeah. So it's a, it's a nice little small one, and I always told her... Um, uh, you know how I'm always talking about Yellowstone blowing on, the, you know, on this podcast. So I'm like, if something major like that happens or some apoc, you know, apocalypse thing, I was like, you and I, we gotta lift up this freezer because it has all, all that meat in there. She's yeah. like, it's not gonna matter. I'm like, yeah, you don't know, like, because our goal is to get to Vito's house or, like I've said a million times, or my mom's house. But I'm like, take that food, and that's all we're taking, and we're going. Yeah. So, Bugging out, uh, <laughs> for sure. Do you have a plan like that in case yeah, some shit goes down? You absolutely just absolutely not. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I mean, I'm not like stocked up, but I'm just like, what the idea is. Um, I just. Yeah, I just. It depends. Like Yellowstone, we're all fucked anyway. Yeah. But, oh yeah. Yeah, if you live west of pretty much the Mississippi River, you're screwed. The only place in. you might be is yeah. the fucking tip of Florida. Yeah. You might, and that. But even then, it's gonna put 
everything into nuclear winter. So yeah. nobody wants to go to the tip of Florida anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Could you yeah. imagine? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your only hope is if Yellowstone does blow, you're on vacation in Australia. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> or Antarctica, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. I'd rather go down with the fucking Aussies down there and try to survive with those fucks. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. Yeah, it's 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 a scary thing, you know. It's it's well overdue, they say. But <laughs> yeah, but oh, fuck, uh, shit yeah. happens. Well, yeah, the way I look at it is if. It, if it blows, that's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, yeah. So. That's why we drink Smirnoff and Zima's. <laughs> yep. Live life to the fullest. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I sure. always keep uh, a couple magazines, mm-hmm. a pistol and rifle, and then uh, our plan is to just grab what we can and then head out to oh, the Oh, that's going to be like... like- Good housekeeping magazine type <laughs> yeah. stuff, you know. Playboys, we yeah. do have our Playboy. I, we I haven't mentioned that. it. Yeah, yeah his nope. sister got that for nice. us when she, when she podcasted with us. So we have it out every episode. I was just telling him last night. I go, it's gonna be great. Like episode two hundred, it's gonna look because at one point it's we each one of us just open it up and like look, and it's it's dirty. It's yeah, not like a Playboy. Yeah, I haven't lo- I haven't looked at it yet. Oh I didn't yeah, see it it's, sitting there's there, a so wild heard... milfs. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, just it open has, it up. It even says 150 plus photos in it. Yeah, so it's got a lot of photos. Yeah. Shouts out J Hole. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. yeah, absolutely. absolutely. No, absolutely. dude, take a look. I mean, it's hardcore uh, stuff. Pornography. Yeah. Which we're not against. I don't know if you've ever what, seen pornography. This... Have you? <laughs> uh, is that a woman? Is that what women look like? I think that's a woman. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nope. I have never looked at pornography. Well. Well, you can you pay like for it. this, right? We like it. <laughs> you can't get it free from anywhere, can you? No, you gotta pay for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome to the club, sir. <laughs> All right, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Wild Mills, page one. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be reading from the book of Wild Mills. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I, I had a buddy in high school. Mike and I would stay at and like right, we'd all just crash in his room. And right before we went to bed, he would open up a Playboy and read us a story. Yeah, and we'd always like, That's all right, awesome. good night, buddy. Yeah, and like, dude, some of the stories, and he would like, like get into it. He's like, yeah, I wish. And when she jerked my cock so hard, I came <laughs> and it went, flew right into the vat of grease because they were like fucking out of McDonald's yeah. or something. Oh. And dude, I just like just die and laugh. He's like, "All right, good night, fellas." And then we oh, just like man. pass out. And so yeah. we'd, we'd stay at his house for like three or four days in a row, or or, a couple, or whatever. And it would be like every night. It would just be so funny, <laughs> you know. And speaking about like poor magazines and the career choice that two of us have here, okay. you know, they always say like. Firehouses always have dirty magazines. Oh yeah, no, I can honestly say our fire department, our fire stations don't. Really? Yeah, I've never seen one in our fire stations, which is it's starting to go away. Yeah, keep your eyes on this. Make sure he doesn't steal it. Yeah, when he leaves. <laughs> you know we're getting so politically correct now, and right, which I, I get it and, if somebody comes in and stuff yeah. is left out. Yeah, and we do we do get a lot of like city folk that come into our departments oh, and yes. you know use come in and they fucking shit in our bathrooms and just blow it up <laughs> and they'll leave. Oh, oh, city parks guys do that when i first came on over 10 years ago there was porn in every bathroom like stacked like it was it was like none of it was present right it was all like eight well, ten years yeah. 15 years because yeah. it's porn magazines i love how you're going through it page by page <laughs> just so we're aware yep. sure you can hear it sorry to interrupt but no no problem so now only one of our bathrooms has it's got a locker and the whole locker is full of fucking porno mags but uh yeah nobody and then even, and some stations have more, right. but if we have people that come to the firehouse, mm-hmm. like, well, like yeah, a Cub Scout mm-hmm. troop, then we'll do a safety talk. Do you show them the... We the... show them the porn <laughs> <laughs> first, <laughs> and then we talk about safety. Yeah. <laughs> well, we always do a sweep for contraband in case yeah. somebody's going to use yeah. the bathroom. Yeah. You don't want some fucking eight-year-old all excited seeing the firefighters of fire trucks and goes in the fucking bathroom and sees his first porn. Yeah, but let me say, if you're an eight-year-old boy... Best day oh, ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you you would remember that there. for the yeah. rest yeah. of your yep. fucking life. Yeah, you'd like tell your bros when you get back, like, dude, you gotta go to the bathroom. Go, there's a there's a Playboy in there. There's a hustler, dude. And you would just see it would be just like a fucking line. Oh, because yeah. like they're not discreet. Right. So like they all would just run yeah. in there at once, you know what I yep. mean? So that's fucking absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. But yeah, you you do have to make those sweeps. And I think, oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, for sure. And I think now, like uh Everybody has a fucking phone. And nobody <laughs> reads anything while they're on the toilet. Right. You know what I mean? Well, they do. If they do, it's from their phone. From their phone. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. Like, nobody's 
people just have books and magazines in the toilet now. Everybody's when you shit, what do you do? What do you use? What do you look up on your phone? Do you have like? Do you go to the same app or? Oh, yeah, absolutely. What, what, what's your ritual? Twitter, Instagram. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's, that's nice. Much. Half the half my tweets are when I'm on the toilet. Oh, so half. I'm always I'm always probably Twitter first. You know that's gonna make me enjoy your tweets. Yeah. ten times oh, more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I never. I would never take a shit without my phone. Right. Like, I don't yeah. know. Have you ever gone in, would, sat down, yes. stood back up and went yes. and got Yep, I've you know, done that oh, yeah, multiple. Yeah. Just like, yeah. what are you doing? I'm like, forgot my phone. Yeah. She's like, you're so addicted. I was like, no, because I just like to read her. Because I either read Twitter and mm-hmm. I, I go through Twitter, Snapchat, blah, 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 um, Instagram and all, all that. But Or I'm playing a game. Like, yeah. I, I have two games on my phone that I play regularly. So, what is this? Uh, am I, why am I just not hearing about that? Oh, yeah. So, it's, it's stupid. Um, one of them is like this... Uh, Block game. It's called. You're holding out information on me. <laughs> yeah. So I have an iPhone, and it's called uh, One More Brick, where you just shoot and it's, <clears throat> you just gather up bricks, and each block has like a number, so it'll be like 50. So this brick's gotta get 50 times before it disappears and shit. Okay. And then you get up, and where you end up having like 100 balls and shit. And then yeah. the other game I play is Pet Rescue. <laughs> Pet Rescue. Yeah. Really? So yeah. So my mom. <laughs> She's like, she told me, she's like, hey, you should play Pet Rescue. I'm like, I'm not fucking playing Pet <laughs> Rescue. I was like, this is fucking bullshit. I'm like, it's one of those Facebook games. And I was like, I'm not going to do it. I, I don't care what you say. She's like, just fucking try it. So I was like, fine, I'll try it. Um, so I went into it. I started playing. I'm like, this game is so fucking stupid. That was like three or four years ago. I am now currently on uh, level 1,216. Oh, <laughs> so I moved over from, like, I was just playing it on the computer, like, when I was working, mm-hmm. since I, were, you know, sometimes we're, de- we're dead, <laughs> and this is before they told everybody they had to stop playing games. But, uh, so then, um, I said I don't have, like, the best computer at home, and everything was slow, and it was kind of s- slowing down my computer at work as well. So then I just went, I moved it over to the mobile. So since it's Facebook... Um, connected, it would just like mm-hmm. save my spot. So then I just played on my phone. So it's one of those two games, okay. and it, it's it's stupid. It's a guilty pleasure, but I fucking enjoy it. And there's like I'm point now where um, I I'll be on a level and I won't use help to like try to beat it, okay. and I'll play a fucking level for a month, and I'll okay. just play it a couple times here and there, um, like on a break or like if I'm you know pooping or whatever, just try it. But like, oh, didn't get it. So it's just like that's why it's taken me so long. And I don't. I think there's like two thousand levels or, yeah. or more, and they just add more and more. But mm-hmm. yeah, I just just chip away at it. And it, it I rather enjoy it. So it's, I'm kind of the same way. When I go to the bathroom, I have my I have to have my phone with me too. And I think I probably take maybe five minutes of actually pooping, and I sit there for fifteen minutes playing <laughs> yeah, video games yeah, yeah. or looking at apps or yeah. something like that. I've got. I play a game kind of like yours, the the bricks game. Oh yeah. But mine's called Bricks and Balls. Oh, nice. And yeah, I'm at the like, exactly level similar. 349 on it. And I play it religiously. So some of the levels you get to, they're almost impossible to beat unless you get the, you know, you sign in for so many days, you get additional yeah. stuff, balls and, you know, tricks and stuff like that that mm-hmm. help you get through that level. But I, I, I'm a big fan of Reddit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I You've spend been a lot of time on Reddit. And uh, What's you your can f- get lost in Reddit. Oh, yeah. There's What's your favorite so subreddit? Uh, I actually, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> don't do it again. All right, try not to. <laughs> um, I really don't have like a, a go to subreddit. Really? I just kind of go just, to like the yeah. homepage and shit. Yeah. See, that's why I like. I, go ahead. I do like um, some of the stuff like uh, documentaries, mm-hmm. stuff like that on the Reddit app, or like just the just all kinds of documentaries out there that no one knows about. Right. Yeah. Dude, that, dude that's awesome. Come up on there. Yeah, I, I go favorite. on Reddit maybe once or twice a month. It's yeah. not. I never got into it. I know there's a ton of subreddits. I know Reddit's great. A lot of stuff like mm-hmm. when people do AMAs and shit yep. like that. That's yeah. They ask um, me anything, or uh, yeah, you know, ask me anything, or you know, you know, I am what you know, whatever. And then they, you ask questions, or whatever they want to do. Yeah. Those are some pretty yeah. cool. You get celebrities that go on there. Oh yeah, absolutely. They, you know, celebrities do stuff and. You know, and just some of the out jobs that odd mm-hmm. jobs that people have. So my favorite thing about Reddit is there's a, I mean, it's so big because there's a Reddit for everything. There's a subreddit yeah. for everything. Do you fucks with Reddit or fucks with do you it. even know what it is? Yeah, a little bit. Somebody was telling me about it, and then I fucked with it for like a couple of days, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I don't. There's a lot of porn on there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a there's a subreddit for every type of porn out there. Yeah, awesome. yeah. It, it's it's insane. <laughs> so, but yeah. So for like, I don't know much about it. For people listening that might not 
like just kind of explain it. It's like an app, like a YouTube or or you're, you're the pro you on it. it. Um, so I, I I fucked with it, didn't really get it, yeah, mm-hmm. and then just deleted it. Yeah, so. Reddit is an app that you can go, you can download on your phone, and you go to, and they have like subreddits. So, you know, there's like a, a subreddit for like daily, you know, I forget what like it's funny called. pictures, yeah, anything funny that pictures. you can think yeah. of. It's pretty so you much can go just there and groups you, of yeah. people, and where they get a post, and it works to where people will like you can comment, people can upvote or downvote, yep. and people have discussions. It's yep. you know like a, a board. It's basically just like a message board type thing. Okay. Yeah, pretty much is what it is, just for all different kinds of things. There's, you know, I can Guns, pull out my phone. Yeah, you could or, like. There's diet type stuff. There's workout stuff. Yeah. you know. There's there's all kinds of stuff out there. Okay. Porn, you can political, find, yeah, political, any, yeah. anything you can think of. Like yeah, usually anything one, you can think of, you yeah. could just type it in. You're probably gonna find something. Yeah. On. When I go, I usually just go to the homepage and see like what the most upvoted yeah, thing of that day is. Yeah, or like I follow tre- funny basically stuff. What's trending, yeah. Like yeah, like memes, like funny meme, you know, subreddits mm-hmm. and shit like that. So it's been around for a long, long time, and there's. Yeah, I mean, you usually hear like this got popular on Reddit, or yeah. or it was like popular on this website, but then Reddit picked it up, and so yeah, yeah. you know, I, there's there's also subreddits for like you know the guy that you have on the wall over here, you know, <laughs> he's into or yeah bag. Denmark. <laughs> Denmark is really into like furry stuff, and oh, you can yeah. find that stuff like cosplay, cosplay oh, yeah. porn, and stuff like that Shit. on there. They, like I said, they have everything on there you can find. What's your favorite porn genre? Uh right now. <sighs> Milfs, of course. Yeah, uh, it's it's kind of that's we usually ask the go to. We usually ask every guest. I don't know if we've yeah. been doing that, but that's what uh, usually because we try to talk about porn because people don't talk about porn. Yeah, like it doesn't exist. It's a billion dollar industry. Yeah. everybody watches porn. Yep, dude, I'm in the same boat. And it for me, it doesn't. I don't understand why I'm in the milf porn because I'm in, I'm a dilf. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I would, you would figure, dragon. I'd like to fuck. Yeah, you would figure, <laughs> yeah. you would figure, like something out, like younger chicks. You know mm-hmm. what I mean, or something like that. But no, like I like, yeah, milfs are. Like, yeah, but you're in a relationship with a milf. You know what That's I mean. True. So I get That's it. True. It's, it's yeah. where we're at in our lives and shit. Yeah. So, but yeah, dude, they they have like. It's just weird, creepy subreddits for stuff. And, like, they got to police it just like with anything else to shut, you know, like, yeah. creepy pictures down and shit. Or, like, there's a lot of political ones that get, like, very racial that they got to shut down and yep. stuff like that. So Yeah, it's just like, I mean, it's, you pretty much could say whatever you want on there, but there's certain parameters they got to stay within just, okay. just, like, just like anything, anything Like Twitter and anything yeah. else. Gotcha. Yeah, so yeah. would you say that's your favorite social media? Uh, I, do you consider that social media, I guess? I do, but I don't. I know that it's me, me personal. I'm not very liberal. I'm not a liberal person. Right. So I know like Reddit is a very liberal thing and, you know, but it's not, I go to it a lot. I spend a lot of time on Reddit, right. but I don't get in the whole political side of it. Right. So honestly, my favorite, my favorite social media right now is probably Twitter and mm. Twitter's kind of even gotten that way now where everything is political and i just think that's just the state of the country yeah and that's i that's that is like i got rid of my facebook back in february around my birthday yeah because you you do that every once in a while but yeah i went to look for you to post something on your wall and he was gone i was like fuck and i just i thought maybe i saw you put on twitter or somebody had said or maybe we're at a party or something like that i don't know so i haven't had it in a long time it's probably mainly because of another guy that i know he kind of attacked me for being in the military and posting a meme that I didn't really care for. Who is this, and, who is this guy? And, uh, uh, talk about it later. We're done. <laughs> it's done and over with now. And no, that makes we're sense. We're talking and everything now. So it's it's all good. But, you know, the thing is, is like everything was politically motivated on Facebook. Mm-hmm. You couldn't, you'd have to scroll through the bullshit just to get to the stuff yeah. that you wanted to see. Dude, Mikey got rid of Facebook for a long time and then he like came back for a little bit because he lost a, a one, two, three to a buddy who <laughs> one, two, three him to join uh, Tinder. Yeah. yeah. And nice. he, they, he fucking stuck him and you, I think, I think, I don't know if you needed a Facebook to sign in or he just wanted to use it and not fill it out yeah. or whatever. And so then, um, then I think he got off of it really quick and then, yeah, he went back and, uh, he doesn't have a Twitter anymore. He doesn't have any, the only thing really? he has is Snapchat and it's just so he could see his nieces and yeah. nephews. And so. that's the, that's the thing I miss about Facebook is because my family, they don't like to communicate over the phones. Yeah. So, so that's where I got a lot of like my information about my mom's side of the family. 
was off of Facebook. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good for that type of stuff. So I missed stuff, that that, but... that portion of it, but. Unless the only thing, honestly, that you do is if you go back in, you reactivate it or whatever, or you just get a new one, and then but you just do the purge and just mm-hmm. get rid of, you know, yeah. you can do that. Like I tend to hide a lot Ugh. of people. I don't go on it a lot. I think I don't remember where I read this, but people said somebody's like Facebook is like when you go to the refrigerator and you keep opening it up and you already know there's nothing in there, but you just open it up, look, like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's just, yep. that's how I am with it. I like Twitter the best. Um, that's where I get all my news from. If that's something breaking, I, get, I go yep. straight to Twitter. So, Same here. Um, yep. But, yeah, I mean, Instagram's really starting to pop up here on Nasty Friends this weekend. We've been yeah, posting, doing, yeah, because I was just like, we rarely use it. Right. I'm like, let's, like, I just felt like, you know, doing some stuff, because I was pumped for the weekend. Yeah, dude, like I said, with this killer lineup and just, like, the food and stuff. Yeah. So, um yeah, I have done a, a couple since we've been sitting here, even. So. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I do like Instagram. Um, I like know, Instagram too, dude, because yeah. it's less political. It's but it's so also yeah, the thing yeah. is, it's it is also who all you follow That's too. Absolutely. So like, it's a lot easier to stay away from political via, uh, especially Instagram is probably the easiest because you could follow a million different dogs, cats, memes. Right. You know, mm-hmm. you it's it's much easier to stay away. from... From like not seeing political yeah. stuff. Yeah. If you don't like, um, obviously you can go into like the searches and see what's trending. I never do that with Instagram. I do that with Twitter to see yeah, what's Twitter what's I trending. The last thing I did was the um, I'm feels challenge or I'm feeling challenge the Drake. Okay. Uh, you know, Kiki, oh, D- yeah. like that challenge. I went down the rabbit hole for that, watching a bunch <laughs> of different ones. Um, Old rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. So who's a little person chick? Uh, I don't. I don't remember her name, but World Star posted it. Yeah. So, but I, I'll have to grab her name. I'll, I'll show it to you. Um, yeah. I'll explain the challenge and show. But I showed him it's a little person, dude. Yeah. She's a fucking. She's like an eight or a nine hot. Yeah, really? Yo, dude, dude, she's hot as fuck. And then this <laughs> challenge, like, dude. She and I think that's honestly why she got so big. Um, or like why that one went so viral, but also because fucking World Star posted it. You but, don't see a lot of. Uh, uh, yeah, sound bad, but you don't see. A, I guess you don't see a lot of little people anyway. But then hot ones like. Yeah, yeah. She was, she was hot. Listen, I don't know if you've ever been with a midget. Uh, I can't say I have. No, I I was listening to a podcast. The girls I've been with, no. Nope. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I was listening to a podcast today, and it was about last night, and okay. it's uh, Adam. Oh, I can't think of his last name, and then Brad Williams, okay. the little yeah, 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 little yeah, yeah. person. Well, they had Bill He's Burr. Hilarious. They had Bill Burr on this okay. one, and they were talking and about being, you know, bullied about how like you go, you know, you're in that awkward stage at sixth grade. Mm-hmm. He's and uh, Bill Burr is just like, you know, he's like when you're in that weird height. He's like, you know, you're like you're, you know, you're four or five. You ever been four or five? And Brad Williams is like, no, Bill, I have never been four or five <laughs> in my life. <laughs> That's funny. And he's like, ah, damn it. And he's just like, you're the same size when you sit down he's like i just see you as a normal person or whatever but like they're you know they're good friends and shit but he's like when he said that he's like no bill i've never been four or five <laughs> fucking got me good so. that dude's fucking hilarious man mm-hmm. Brad Williams. you know i'm looking at this this porn magazine again i can't just <laughs> stop looking at it but some of the girls in this they're yeah. they're young they're not yeah, they don't look like they'd be moms yeah exactly right. Right. yeah so i'm kind of like maybe like, when i think of milf porn i'm thinking like 40, 50 yeah, years old. Absolutely. You know, yeah, 30, not, 50s. yeah. I mean, you, you know, could, I'm not looking They're probably at from Kentucky and got pregnant at like female. You can be a MILF yeah. at 25. You can. Because but you, it's, technically, if you have yeah, a kid, if you, have you a kid, can you're, be a MILF. But no, I consider MILF, I'm yes. with you, like 40. Yeah. You know, above 40 at least. Right. You know, and you know, I'm in my mid 30s right now. Yeah, so. you're a DILF. Yeah. Could no, be a DILF. Could be. <laughs> yeah. Working on it, hopefully. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude, I just love that we have the porn out every time. Like, yeah, I don't even yeah. notice, and sometimes, like, the kids will be here. He's like, oh, we can't, can't set that out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so for, for people listening, we have our, our props for BDC Studios. Uh, one of my favorite things is the Batman fidget spinner. Yeah, you'll hear it. If you listen, you can hear it on every episode. We fucking, it's constantly in motion, I think, when yeah. we're podcasting. I, I'll i get in it, and I, I just keep fucking spinning. Yeah, and then you set it over to me, and, and I was like, yeah, you. you haven't grabbed it. Nope, I'm not a fidget spinner guy. Dude, we had a couple guys who really, like, when Whiny was here, he had never done a fidget spinner. He's like, yeah. this is the, I'm like, he goes, this is the first time I'm going to spin one, and that's how it was for me. Yeah. And he just kept, he's like, he's like, dude, you got to take it yeah. away. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe that's, because I always tell Timory. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't use her name, but you we know, don't know. it is whatever. whatever. Uh, my wife, you know, my she, wife. she she always gets mad at me because we'll be sitting there watching TV or doing something, and I'll get my phone out, 
And she's like, "Do you always have to have your phone?" I was like, "I get bored really easily, yeah. so I have to have have to have something to do." Just next time, just maybe say, I should just have a fidget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you could do that, or you just say, "Hey, so whip your titties tricks. out, let me play." Yeah, <laughs> just start ferociously masturbating. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Like, oh, I get bored sometimes. <laughs> It's like, Jesus, Harry, not again. My mom's here. <laughs> Dude, you should, though. They're like, I know people like make them and they're like douchey and stuff, but they really are. Like, and when we're talking, I, I enjoy yeah, yeah. it because I move. You get, that's why you can always hear like my drink or the, the oh, chairs, yeah. you know, squeaking. Yeah. And because uh, Vito, when I was listening to, I think it was episode 47, he's like, who the fuck is in that squeaky chair? <laughs> and you could like pick it up like yeah. when you hear it. So, um, I don't know. We're on a low budget here. We don't got like these mics that yeah. cut everything out. Right. I hey, like this. You're not Joe Rogan. Or, yeah, <laughs> yeah right, right. right. The way that this <laughs> setup is and stuff. Yeah. So. Oh, but anyway, also the setup. So we have <laughs> we have our Batman, Superman. Yeah, uh, we're humping over there. Yeah. Corner. What would you call those? Superman, Batman. Fi- action figures. Action figures. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have our record light. Shouts out, Joey. Shouts out, Joey. We have our uh, BDC Studios uh, welded yeah. sign. That. It currently isn't in BDC Studios. Yeah, I'll have to show it to you. Vito uh, made it for us. So. I think I, I think I've seen it. You've, it was fun. you've seen a picture of yeah, for I've sure. Seen pictures, yeah. But yeah, it's heavy as it's shit. It's iron. Dude. Yeah. It's heavy as fuck. Yeah, shout out Vito, for sure. Shout out Joey. Uh, what else? And our drinks. We got our drinks. Yep. But yeah, we always set up set up our props that we we have to have. You know. I see that you have all your army stuff over there on the wall for your, uh, you know your. Achievement medal. Yeah, but the Look most important that. achievement is the first place in the death pool. Yeah, from last 17, season. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm really bummed that I wasn't able to, like, last year, I don't know what happened, but I, I wanted to be in it, and I, I set it up and everything. I don't know why I didn't save my picks. So, I think, yeah, all oh, what happens is, so, like, you could go in early, and you could add people to mm-hmm. your watch list. Yeah. And then what happens is you could sign up to be in funeral homes. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm in four. Yeah. But once you sign up to be in a funeral home, you have to add your picks oh, to okay. each funeral home. You could, so once you, so like you probably had your lineup, mm-hmm. joined uh, Nebraska Preeminent Death Prediction Services. Yeah. And it said, okay, we accept you. But if you didn't move your picks over to that. That's probably exactly that's what probably happened. would happen. Yeah. I didn't know that either. Uh, the first, the f- last year, but yeah. This is our second year, right? Yeah, it's our this second year. year. Yeah. Yep. So, Are you in it this year? I'm not. Okay. Uh, we'll get you in though. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember exactly why it wasn't in this year, but it's it, what it's, it is. It, it's, can we add him at any time? I no. mean, I know we're half. Or yeah, you I have think, to be within those yeah, I think first. It's, yep, you can't add. It, okay, or even drop people. Okay, I think it's you're in. I like that. Yeah, me there, too. I like that, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. But um, we're yeah. gonna like me and Pax talk about. We're gonna do this forever. So oh yeah, get in next year. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. It's, keep, it's gonna keep getting bigger. I think we got 22, 23 people. Yeah. yeah. Last year, I think we had thirteen. Mm-hmm. And like you, there's more people that are like, yeah. "Fuck, dude, I missed it. I want you know." Next yeah, year. And those are the things we don't. I know t- Jimmy. Jimmy tried to do it also. Like the last say, year, the first year. Yeah. Yeah. Is he in? It? Yeah, he's so in, he's in, in it this, year. this year. Yeah. Yeah. Same um, thing. He's like. He didn't know why either. So. Yeah, it's it's weird, but it, we're getting it figured out. Yeah. You know, it was our, our first year, and the thing is, is, we don't. We still got, I think, over half the people we need to get money for for this year. Yeah. So or yeah. from. So I mean, it, we'll we'll get it, and it's you see us at some point or whatever, yeah. and right. come through and party and stuff. And it's only the twenty five bucks, but um, I don't know if you see it on Twitter where we're sitting currently at. Uh, I think I saw it, but I don't remember. Yeah, yeah so he didn't. He won it like last year, wire to wire. Mm-hmm. So open. Uh, yes, just sir. fucking day of within a couple hours got yeah, one hit. Yeah, you got one hit right away. I remember yeah. Uh, yeah. Jimmy Snuka, rest in peace. Yeah, bro. and so he won the whole thing. And so then this year, people are getting hits, and he doesn't have any hits. And he's like, fuck. You know, because the biggest fear is you get skunk. That's the right. worst. Um, so he's like, I just want to get a hit, and we'll get it rolling. And then he, like, he's doing research. He's trading. So he fucking jumps out way ahead, like <laughs> yeah. up by 80 or 90. Yeah. Um, I get a hit, and it was Barbara Bush, and then um, and a lot of people yeah, had her, yeah, which yeah. is fine, but I still get points. Yeah. And then I got uh, Dwight Clark, which is the guy who, that famous Joe Montana pass yep. in the back of the end zone, yep. he's the guy who caught that. Yeah. And it was a solo pick, so that kind of bumped me up. And then um, I, I think I have three or four, I don't remember, but my latest guy, he was so young, it was a solo pick, he, uh, solo pick. He had brain cancer. I got 86 points out of him. So now I'm sitting in second 
two points behind oh, him. So shit. him and I are at the top, and we got uh, – <laughs> there's people behind. But the thing is, it could change. Somebody could have somebody like that, oh, and it could change in a heartbeat. So we're getting pumped. Yeah. Um, Zima's done. It's gone. Thank God. Yeah. Did you do a lot better than that? I know it took me, like, fucking, like, the whole episode. Yeah, <laughs> to yeah it's – uh, the, I'm the type of person, if I don't really care for a drink I'm drinking, I just try to get, get it, it going. Yeah, yeah, that makes I that agree. makes sense. Yeah, you know, and uh, it's just something I've always done. And doing pretty good on the Smirnoff. Doing yeah, a lot better than say, well, a lot you guys better are pretty, pretty much where you're. You guys are pretty even. Just on pacing. Those. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, you got to pace yourself on this, Smir- this podcast. You know, <laughs> the Smirnoff Ice is not good, but it's way better than the Zero. <laughs> yeah. I'm mixing it with my vodka drink. Yeah, if I add. Vodka and water to the Smirnoff Ice is actually probably yeah. a lot better than just straight up. It's real sugary. Yeah, it is. I about that, you know. But yeah. I wonder how much sugar is in a Zima. Probably know. says right less on the than a gram. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like gram. It's less than one gram. But yeah, that's that's one thing. Like, so you guys can obviously tell. Obviously tell. I've gained weight. Um, you know, 210 pounds is 215. I wish like I could that. be 210. <laughs> you know, and so I, that's one thing I've been trying. Like, I don't drink very often anymore. Okay. Yeah. And when I do, I wish I could stop. Like, I could drink vodka water because okay. you're all, you're hydrated while drinking. You know, it's a little it helps. Carbs, it, you know, it, it and, definitely you know, helps out with the. But I just, the for some reason, I just can't can't get the taste. Like, every some people just like hard alcohol straight. You, you and I just Tito's? don't. I do. I love Tito's. Okay. Tito's is one of my favorite vodka yeah. drinks. Yeah. Well, I do uh, the presses, so it's just like Captain Morgan water and then a splash of Coke. Yeah. And so you know, like we used to live together. When we would drink hard, I'd go through like a two liter of Coke in a night. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's. I think that's part, honestly part of the reason why I got so fat. Um, and plus, it's my DNA, and I'm okay with that. Cause yeah. I love myself, bitches. <laughs> uh, but so now when I drink, because I, you know, I mean, I like where like when you sit at a bar and you're just BSing and then the uh, the ice just melts and your drink gets kind of watered mm-hmm. down but you still yeah. taste the coke that's exactly what it starts out with and so that's what I do and now just like a 20 ounce bottle will last me like usually when I since I don't drink as much anymore I'll just get like the Canadian size bottles mm-hmm. the short ones yeah. and one of those will last me all night and I'll get like five six drinks out of one you know yeah and um, out Canada yeah yeah I hell usually, yeah I usually wouldn't have said that but <laughs> Legit, but you know? yeah, so dude, that's the way I do it, and it's helped. Um, like, and I don't get heartburn anymore because like that sugar causes me to get heartburn yeah. more than spicy food does. So yeah, I, I have heartburn really bad. I have to take a daily pill for it. But you always I, have though, right? Yeah, yeah. When I really started getting my weight, when oh I got, yeah, started getting fat. You know, I love food. You know, it happens oh, to yeah. the best of us. Yeah, it's like I've tried diets and shit like that, yeah. but. You know, for some reason, it's the pastas. And the <laughs> oh, it's the carbs. Fuck. The carbs Hell yeah. Great, but they're horrible for you, you yeah. know? It's, are you? Do you cook? Uh, I try to when I'm at home. I'm a big okay. co- I, I love crock pot meals. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, because it's something crock you Crock pot just... liners, yes or no? No. Thank you. Absolutely Thank not. God. You sick fucks out there yeah. hyping up pot. You know, no, what, they make those? Pot? Hyping up, yeah, keep hyping up pot. But oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Crock-Pot the liners, crock yeah. Liners. They dude, make those? Vito's shit went on Twitter the other day had yeah. me cracking too, right? up because he, he um, it I takes him a little bit. I him on Twitter. Oh, yeah. I have do. to. It's, it's Pag Nasty. 35, fuck it, I don't care if people hear Yeah, Pagnes yeah. 35, he doesn't tweet that much, he won't care. Yeah. But he was saying, uh, because we were podcasting one time, and then we were doing shouts out and fuck yous, and at the end, because I had brought it up to him, and he's like, uh, Spicy was like, fuck people who use crock pot liners. Yeah. And I fuck it, it got me, because I had forgot we talked yeah. about it. So I, I so I put that on Twitter uh, from Nasty and Friends. You know, I put, fuck people who use crock pot liners. And it was like, it's probably our most popular tweet. I mean, <laughs> it got the most interaction. Yeah. Well, Vito finally got to it, and he's just... Just like, and what he said was actually pretty genius. He's like, uh, <laughs> he goes, uh, using a crock pot liner or not using a crock pot liner is like not using a trash bag liner. Yeah. He's like, think about it. And I was like, it does make sense. And I get what he's saying. It's a lot yeah. easier. But I'm like, just do what I do. Let it soak for three weeks. Then yeah. wash it then out. Wash it, it's it out. so it's easy. Yeah. And so then I was like, <laughs> yeah, I go, well, when you're done with that, uh, make sure you wash your vagina. He goes, it'll be a smelling good vagina and the smartest. Yeah. And then I just sent back the uh, <laughs> dodgeball, the touche. <laughs> like so it was pretty funny, yeah. but I'm glad you don't use crock pot. Yeah, liners, I, so. yeah. Lazy yeah, dude, fucks. I, I got, that's for I, sure. I got a couple crock pots and I have a roaster and they're all like nonstick. 
Yeah. Right. Like mine are you, too. You can let them soak, but I use hot water and the, just clean they them just right clean, away. Yeah. They come out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess it depends on what you're cooking, but I've never had anything where I'm like, fuck. In, yeah, in, just, the, in that, you know? I just like the ability to throw sh- some shit into the, just turn it on and let you, it cook. You have a go to for your crock pot. Um, I'm a huge fan of crock pot chili. Oh. Especially when you make it first thing in the morning. Yeah, we do it's, that. It, you know, it cooks all day long. I like you have that. it for a PM, you know, evening dinner or whatever. Yeah. Especially on a cold, wet day. But I like, I like pulled chicken. Like putting chicken breast in there. Dude, then, that's how J-Pack, she'll cook yeah. it, dude. And you're like ahead of the game. So like once you guys end up do having kids, like crock pot mm-hmm. meals save lives, yeah. man. Yep. They're phenomenal. We got, we haven't done it yet, but I think probably within this next week, we're going to be making a crock pot pizza. Oh. Yeah. So well, we're. That'd be interesting. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. How you plan on doing um, that? That's well. It's not me, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how's your but, How's your wife? Yeah. Really? Um. I think you just buy like the you can. It's like the Pillsbury. Uh, Pil- Pillsbury, not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nice. just like yeah, just the dough or whatever you want, yeah. and you break that open, you like line it, and you just layer it like you would a pizza. Hmm. I, I'm sure it's probably a Pinterest meal because yeah. Which hey, dude, let me know how that turns out, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll let you know if, also. if it works. Yeah, yeah. That dough, I don't. See What's the worst? Crunchy. Like once it gets cooked, then it's just like a weird goulash if you have to. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But um, yeah, so you said that you were doing the chicken. What else? Did you do like breakfasts, like oatmeal? No. And shit, or? Um, so usually when I'm home and I'm uh, not working, I don't do a lot of like breakfast stuff. Okay. I only use bre- I only do a breakfast when I'm at actually at the station. And it's usually, you know, not anything to you know do a crock pot with. You know, it's you know eggs and some toast or something do like you that. You guys but, do uh, colon blow? Uh, we do not do a colon blow. Hmm. You've had it though. Uh, I know what you're talking about, but no, we we have. I've never really? had. And the sex move, yeah, called colon blow. Yeah, yeah the, not the sex move, but the no. yeah. breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> huh, that's my one of my favorites. We're doing yeah, breakfast tomorrow. You know, my thing is like the station that I'm currently at. You know, we everybody does their own kind of their own thing. Like one guy's on a diet. Oh. You know, and that station I was at previously. Mm-hmm. You know, we we cook together. We had breakfast together. We make huge breakfast. We made a huge lunch. Yeah. But it also helps that we had a guy that would cook. They used to cook for Warren Buffett. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, really? Yeah. 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 Like so just as like a private chef yeah. type yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. He was a uh, sous chef for him, and oh, I dang. thought that was really, you know, he just like all right, a little this, a little that, a little this, a little that. Could he put it together, and we. It was probably you know some of the best meals I've ever had. Dude, Jay Pags, she'll do that sometimes. I'll be like, I'm like, fuck, what recipe is this? And she's like, I just like she'll just look and through. And we've been doing um, this thing lately where like maybe um, once, twice a week we'll go like we'll have like a meatless meal. So we'll just do like vegetables. Mm -hmm. Where like the other day we just cooked up. It was kind of a version of colon blow, but it was just like a bunch of cabbage, and it was just like mushrooms, zucchini, green peppers, and we just put a bunch of, you know, like rosemary, pepper, garlic, and a bunch of stuff like that, okay. and then um, and just ate it up, like just baked it and stuff, yeah, and it nice. was fucking phenomenal, and my stomach was tore up oh, that shit. night, that dude. Cabbage. Oh, yeah, just ripping well, ass. That, that sounds like a runza. You just have to do, <clears throat> yeah. mm-hmm. like I like to do the dough sheets. Like, you know, you got the Pillsbury, whatever, whatever brand it is. You got the dough sheets. They're thinner than, like, the right. pizza crust sheets, or you can make your own dough. I don't like to make my own dough. I like to use a dough sheet. But yeah, you would just do that same thing. Pre-cook that. Pre-cook the bottom uh, dough. And then add it. Add dough to the sides and the top. Layer it with cheese or pepperoni. And then Hell dough. Yeah. And then throw that in there. And that'd be a fucking bomb-ass runza, I think. Yeah, yeah. For, that for, sounds really good. For the chicken, you were talking about doing the crock-pot chicken. I don't know if uh, you ever tried doing boneless, skinless uh, chicken thighs. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That, cause that, I don't really fuck with chicken breast anymore. I do boneless, thighs. skinless chicken thighs, yeah. and it's, you, they don't dry out like chicken breasts. They're so much better. They're the same price. That's yeah. what I fucking do. Yeah, we, uh, we've actually one of the guys I work with. He's really into, you know, eat, he eats a lot of chicken. And uh, when, I was, when I was on the medic unit, he was driving me, and now that I'm on the engine, he's driving me on the engine too. So we've been together for nice. the last like. Five six months, dude. But, that's awesome. Yeah, it, so we've got a pretty good working relationship together, me and him. But okay. um, we've actually went to uh, away from chicken breasts to the tenderloins, chicken okay. tenderloins, 
and they they stay way way more moist than. Are they the same price though? Breast. Oh yeah. Breast? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's my favorite word, by the way. I love the word moist. Yep. Mm. Top three for <laughs> top, me, top, for top sure. Three. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> moist back. package soot. Top three favorite <laughs> words of all time. <laughs> Speaking of which, so I was sitting at the station last night, you know, at work, and one guy was like, hey, how do you spell soot? I was like, S-O-O-T, I believe. Yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, that's correct. Like, People try to throw a U in there somewhere. Yeah. S-U-E-T. <laughs> Sooty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's great when i first like when i had to tweet that like the very first time i i probably put that tweet out a couple of times i was like how do you fucking spell it yeah i had to go yeah. and look but yeah. I, like, I, I, sh- I just shot in the dark and it was correct I, like, yeah. I, I was like, you got favorite word english language no <laughs> probably fuck yeah that's good there's like, nothing wrong with yeah, that you can use fuck for everything yes yeah like, you, you, you guys seen that little video where a guy he goes through and he's like fuck is everything I'll use it as a noun. And he uses it. He's oh, like, this is it as that. an adjective. Yeah, and he yeah. goes through like, oh, it's yeah. so great. Yeah. It's fan. It's fan fucking tastic. It's yeah. kind of like, I was watching South Park. South Park was on the other oh, day. So and they, it's when the media, it was an old one, but media or television was going to use the word shit for the first time on TV. <laughs> yes. And then like people started getting the plague and shit. From it. <laughs> they, that it was okay to use shit no matter what. Yeah. So they were able to use it in school. And Best cartoon like show of all time. Oh, yeah. Hands down. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so great. When's it come back? I should be coming back it on. should be coming back. Like I in think the fall, fall right? Yeah, fall yeah, is you, usually, you know, you October, gotta, November time frame. Yeah, you got to let me on. know because I, uh, I do YouTube TV mm-hmm. for my TV and it doesn't have Comedy Central on there. Oh. Oh, wow. I, but I just watch everything. Like, when Tosh is on, I just watch it through the app. But I just have to wait the next day. Like, Tosh is on Tuesdays. I yeah. have to wait till Wednesday. Which I don't mind waiting, like, yeah. a day. So I don't see commercials for it. So, But that's the thing is that hmm. South Park usually goes, like, right like with all their shows that they yeah. have. So Yeah. Uh, when I was deployed, one thing I used is the one, two, three movies. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah you've yeah, talked about time. that. Yeah. I, I, for everything. Because they had blocks on all the internet. So there's certain like websites and apps that you couldn't use mm. so you just go and type in the web page one two three movie or google one two three movies and not a sponsor yeah we're not a sponsor <laughs> absolutely not a sponsor i, I want to get into the yeah. deployment for sure yeah. Let, let's, i want to get into that now real quick uh you're we talking about the crock pot chili yeah do you go uh cornbread or do you go cinnamon rolls chili? cinnamon rolls okay I, I like both. If I have cornbread, I'll put in. I do like crackers, and ever really ever since we've had whiny on the podcast, I go oyster crackers. Because oyster crackers. I was yeah. never an oyster cracker guy for oatmeal, okay. uh, but he set me straight. He made me see the light because I mean I still like saltines, yeah. but like I J Packs now buys oyster crackers for chili for me. Yeah. Um, but I will put in cornbread in almost every other soup. Um, mm-hmm. J Pags made this minestrone once mm-hmm. and I know like when she made it I was like can you make some cornbread she's like really like for it and I was like yeah I think it would be good she's like I don't know I'll make it if that's what you want it and I'm not a huge fan of minestrone soup yeah. and she made it I didn't think it was good because just because again I just didn't like it mm-hmm. dude I fucking threw in two pieces of cornbread fucking I mean I'm she even said it. she goes it's a hundred times better with the oh, cornbread really? in there mm-hmm. so she like she even loved it so yeah try it try it out <laughs> yeah, I, uh, when I make uh, chili, I always do cinnamon rolls because my mother-in-law shouts out to Michelle. Okay. Uh, out. She she actually has a recipe for like the goo that goes with it. The goo. The goo. It's not it's not your regular frosting on it or oh, icing gotcha. or whatever. It's okay. a goo. Is, is it made with called. semen? No, no <laughs> semen in this oh, one. No. Boring. Yeah, boring. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it's like. So you take the frozen cinnamon rolls that you can get it in the plastic bags or whatever, mm-hmm. and you let them rise in the overnight mm-hmm. in the fridge. So they rise up, and then you put them follow directions on the bag. You put them in the oven, but it's like one stick of butter, brown cinnamon, and a little bit of milk, okay. or brown sugar, sorry, and a little bit of milk, and it turns it into a goo. And you put that down, and then uh, technically you're supposed to put that down on top of them and then cook them okay. Oh, okay. and then add a, add more later on okay. but I just cook the cinnamon rolls and then put the goo on top of it oh man you like it better that oh, way instead of it cooked oh, yeah. on there yeah that makes sense yeah I feel like you could do it dude that does sound great I don't think I've ever had a cinnamon roll like that yeah it's yeah I got that from Michelle so shout out 
Shouts. Shouts out shouts to Michelle. Yeah, it's, we were talking about this last night. It's shouts out and fuck yous. Yeah, okay, <laughs> makes sense. Yep. It's perfect. Dude, I love chili, but yeah, I, I agree. It's a that's a this is winter time. Yeah, Fall, absolutely. winter. Yep. Uh, and I like my I like my chili like everything. I like it with a little bit of kick in it. I like some heat in it. I I do uh, sharp cheddar, and then I do. Uh, we always get like the black cheddar, and mm-hmm. then we shred it ourselves because you can shred it whatever thickness you want. Yeah. And then uh, I go Fritos instead of crackers. Dude, Fritos is Wife good does too. Fritos. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what she does. Yep. And then I lean towards uh, cornbread. Yeah. But then I'll do cinnamon rolls too. You see, Either I've way, never, you can't go wrong. I just have never. I don't know if it's a texture thing for me or the taste. I don't know. I've just I have never been a cornbread fan. What? Oh, dude, you're fucking missing out, man. Cornbread, dude. Cornbread and like potato soup is great. Cornbread yeah. on its own. Cornbread, is dude. You good. like you Butter, cut honey. it? Yeah, honey. I mm. always go honey. A little bit of honey on it, but yeah, if I'm not putting it in the soup, yeah. it's fucking phenomenal. A couple of guys at the station that I work with, they they do when they do their cornbread, they throw in a little bit of uh, cake. White cake mix into oh, okay. it. Oh, okay. cake. Yeah, and it makes it a little bit sweeter. Okay. And it looks, it makes it a little bit more fluffier. I just like it. Yeah. Actually, I've, it's actually not too bad that way. I'll, I'll eat it that way. I've seen it that way where you do two boxes of the Jiffy cornbread mix yep. and then one box of like the pudding mix. That's or right. Cake you mix. Cake mix yeah. yeah. And then you, you got people that throw yeah. like. Well, which one, is it cake or is it pudding? Does it make a difference? I don't think it really makes a difference. Could probably. I, I just didn't know of like the consistency, but it's just the package. package. Yeah. yeah, the package. So you use like two yeah, packs awesome. of the Jiffy cornbread mix mm-hmm. and then one pack of. I've done. I've seen pudding, but I think I've seen cake mix too. Yeah. But it's like gonna, a small box. I'm gonna yeah, have so, to try that. Yeah. But uh, do do try the pudding. I, you I think love pudding's the pudding? Okay. But I, I think you can do cake mix too. Okay. Uh, and then yeah, some people throw jalapenos and corn and stuff in there. Mm-hmm. And I just like. Straight up cornbread. I, with if butter. I had to choose for sure, straight up cornbread, I'll eat it anyway. If oh, you yeah. want to throw that other stuff in there, but yeah. So like when you go to like a famous Dave's or barbecue place and they give cornbread, do you not eat it? Nope, I give it to Timmery. Oh my god, Fuck. lucky Dave's cornbread is fucking good too. <laughs> they sell that at the store. Yeah, yeah, that's a great box. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Did any? <laughs> <laughs> now, now we got to talk about like cornbread because I I love a good cornbread, but I love like a dinner roll. This is a cooking show, yeah. so of course uh, we got to talk about the, the biscuits, red lobster biscuits. Oh, they sell God. those in the store. Yeah. yeah, we've done those too. Oh, oh my God, God. <laughs> <laughs> dude! The red lobster biscuits—they're like fucking two fifty. You just need to add uh, cheddar and. Uh, camera or something else butter or whatever mm-hmm. i think it's cheddar and butter and then yeah and it comes with the garlic packet and all that and you mix you mix the biscuits throw them in we have like cast iron uh like baking trays we throw, okay. we throw those on there yeah. throw those in the oven and then you mix up the rest of the packet with butter and garlic and then you drizzle it on top of that I, dude i could eat fucking the shit out of those i know they're unhealthy but so good dude one time I was burned down the fire station <laughs> with, a, with a cast iron skillet. Cause you know how you clean it. You're, you're supposed to like put a little water in the bottom of it, yeah. let it boil, so you can it's easier to clean that way. Yeah. Well, it's doing that, and we got tasked out to like switch engines or something okay. like that, and we got talking and bullshitting outside of the outside of the the kitchen and. All of a sudden, the smoke alarms are going off, and the fire alarms oh, going shit. off in the fire station. I'm like, what in the fuck? And this one guy just. Dead sprint towards the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's just, kitchen's just full of smoke. Oh, my Boiled God. all the water out of it, <laughs> and it was burning the skillet. What, what color? Was it, like, it was, gray? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Hot. yeah. I mean, it was probably fucking, Yeah, it was really like hot. a gun barrel. Like, <laughs> it started turning, like, gray. Yeah, and it's like, Jesus. You, there's still a smoke stain on the ceiling <laughs> oh, above my. it. You should write your name. <laughs> Harry <laughs> Smoke Stain. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's going to be his new nickname, oh, Smoke oh, Stain. Oh, smoke. <laughs> yep, I, uh, <laughs> Dude, our, that's crazy. Our assistant chief came over and he's like, "What's going on?" Like, and then he had to put out over the radio because they were going to tone it. Obviously, they're going to right tone it out over the station. Yeah. Like, and he's like, "Uh, you know, we're you know, fi- this station's there's no fire. You, yeah, you don't send it out or anything you, over the radio so everybody else yeah. can hear it and all the other fire stations." <laughs> I love that. Do you still get shit for that? Uh, no. Uh, really, a lot of the people. Have actually forgotten about that. I'm like, I would go to that station. I'm like, hey, that's for me. <laughs> like, oh yeah, that's right. It is for you. <laughs> like they just, geez, yeah, that's, so much that's great. So you're not even happens. at that station no, anymore, uh, dude. That's even better. No. Just fucking deface it. I don't leave. even know. Honestly, I don't even know when I'll be back. Yeah, dude, that's yeah, fucking station, great. 
Dude, yeah, I didn't even realize it like wasn't your station. That's funny. Yeah. It wasn't even his station he did it at. Yeah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you, fuck. That's, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, I just walk in and be like, oh, yeah, that's that's my reminder of <laughs> to remember to check the skillet before doing other dude, things. I, I've, I've left it on, too. Yeah. Because like, I do this. You wash it out. And a lot of people don't know, like with cast iron, you're not supposed to use soap. <clears throat> nope. nope. So you just use hot water, scrub it, and then... Uh, I use soap every once in a while, yeah. but yeah, I mean, when I do that, then I put the oil on it and turn it on, yep. and I have yeah. forgotten about it before, oh, too, yeah. so... But yeah, I usually, we usually let it dry mm-hmm. on the gas stove top. Yep. And then, yeah, I forgot about it, and it's like, what the fuck is that smell? All oh, yeah. that stuff. Like, like, uh, but it's not, not <laughs> that bad, you know, but... And I have a cast iron at home. Yeah. But, so... My wife doesn't want it sitting on like a counter. She wants it tucked away. Yeah. So I put it in the oven. Yep. I, I, you know, whenever I go to cook something or put something in the oven, I, you know, set it up so where it's there pre yeah. preheating, and I open it up like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we just started doing that because we have a big cast iron one <clears throat> pan too, and we just started putting it in there. But I just remember every time. Like growing up, my mom or my dad would be like, "Always check the oven to make sure there's nothing in there before yeah. you turn it yeah. on." So I could right now, even like to this day, I even though if I know there's nothing in, I'll check and yeah. then I turn it on. So it's just habit for me because, like I said, I've been it doing it for so long. All the time with me, I'm just like, ah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but you used to like you do shit like that all the time. So like for people who don't know, we used to be roommates for a long yeah. fucking time. What five, six years probably? Yeah, yeah we were roommates um, for a very long. Time. But I, I remember multiple times, probably more than at least five where i'd go to like put something in the microwave and there'd be like burritos in there yeah and i remember the first time i did i'm like what the fuck is that and i think it was only you and i were home and i was like harris did you like go to cook something like oh yeah i put those (laughs) in like an hour ago and they just been like you put them in for the right time of course but they just been sitting in there i'm like how do you forget to eat i think i think the idea behind it is like you leave it in so like burritos if you don't know, you put burritos in a yeah. microwave. These are like chimichangas. Let's be yeah. sp- very specific. Yeah, chimichangas. The best microwave yeah. burritos of all yeah, time. You, you, if it's not chimichanga, chimichanga, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. But uh, so I think the idea is like I'll leave it in there to let it cool down because you don't yeah. you take the first bite out, but you burn the crap Oh, yeah. No. Mouth. Yeah. So it makes sense. You and let then you it just... cool down and then. You just, you just forget, forget like it. start yeah. playing video games yeah, or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, no, I get that. I just remember the first time because I eat all the time. So I was like, how yeah. could you forget? And then every time after that, I'd be like, hey, Harris. Oh, yeah, thanks, buddy. Yeah, hey, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we lived with each other for shit. 2005 until what, 2000 and Well, again, it would have been 06. No, because I, oh. didn't, I didn't come up to Lincoln until 07. I didn't move up to Has Lincoln. That, oh, I didn't wow. move to My Lincoln. Times are way off. Yeah, I didn't move to Lincoln until like 07, and then I lived with somebody for like a year. So it probably would have been like 08. Yeah. So it would have been 08 all the way up until. Because um, you just started dating Jen at that point. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, J Pags. I don't fucking. Like, time's yeah. a fucking flat surface. So. Yeah, oh, it's, and then it's, I lived with crazy. another one of the podcast guests, Molina. Oh, that fuck. He's yeah. in Germany right now. Yeah, it's a good place for him. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, Molina. I love you. Yeah, the he, fights are tomorrow. Yeah. He's out, he's out with uh, Anthony Lionheart Smith. We'll watch the fights tomorrow while we podcast a little bit. So. Yep, before I bounce. Um, yeah, you said you want to get into the deployment. I did. So, so Harry, uh, a few months back, we had Tarzan on. Yeah. Uh, the episode was Romanian Fuck Palace. Yep. And he talked about his deployment to Romania. And we, yeah, we want to hear... Like your experience in Romania, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> what do you uh, think? So, I really have to use the bathroom. Can we yeah. hold off on this? Oh, yeah. Quick, so I just, oh, yeah. Oh, my I've been holding it for like the last five or at least five minutes. I so remember I my first podcast. Yeah. 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 It's the Zima. <laughs> I'm going to blame the Zima. Yeah, dude, go ahead. Yeah, so, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, hold that thought. You guys talk and do what you got to do. I'll yeah, be right just back. Just make fun of just you. Make sure That's you, fine. Just make sure you sit down when you pee. Oh, always. <laughs> you know, I, I lose control. Yeah, that's not how you, that's not how you <laughs> pee. Dude, I always love those pictures of people. This is going to sound really weird. I love these pictures. But like when you go like walk in and they show that guy who's like 30 and he has his pants all the way down to like his Dude. ankles. And you know he's just like fucking with his people. Yeah. And I've been with a buddy who has done Dude. that just to fuck with me. It's the best. It's funny. That just fucking happened to me. So... <laughs> Uh, no. At, at drill, we always there's a piss test every drill. Right. And it's a uh, percentage. And depending, if they do it every drill, then it's only going to be like 10%. If they miss a couple months, then it's fucking like 100%. There's not one drill where I'm not either pissing or 
watching people pee. And then for watching people pee, they call it pecker checkers, wiener watchers, you know, any other yeah. names. So one drill, I had to do fucking both. And I was like, oh this is my God. bullshit. Dude, like, yeah, it's got to be one, one or the other. other. So yeah. this drill. So then did you get to watch your own self pee? No, somebody else had to watch. Well, luckily, somebody else got to watch me pee. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I was in the computer lab, and I was shamming. Because uh-huh. I'm like, fuck this. Like, it's the World Cup's on. I'm, everybody else is in the motor pool. I, I did have to prep for a class that I'm doing AT, and then right. I had to do like a preview to the commander, kind of to, and request stuff. Mm-hmm. And I, on the request list, I put fucking everything <laughs> from a medical helicopter to uh, cadavers. And I, I requested. Uh, you had art- to. Artillery simulators, smoke, smoke yeah. grenades. The worst I, thing but, you can do is say no, and yeah. you don't know if you, you don't, you're not going to get it if you don't ask. So it makes it's sense. All, it's all medical classes. I'm doing a whole. Uh, for the company, I'm doing a whole like medical uh, react to not react. To, what is it? Whatever. Treat it. Treat a casually. Yeah. Uh, Expose the genitals first. Yep. The genitals. It's always number one rule. So anyway, so I'm in there prepping on this class, making my list of. I'll probably get like a band aid and a dummy, <laughs> maybe. Well, I probably won't even get a dummy. They'll be like, hey, just use a soldier, and then here's a band aid. Teach how to save lives. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm in the computer lab. They come in. They're like, hey, these people are on the. They gotta pee. I didn't hear my name, and I didn't hear my name for being a wiener watcher. So I'm like, this is a first. Five minutes later, hey, uh, Sergeant Brown, we need you down downstairs uh, to help watch people pee. And I was like, you gotta be shitting me. I thought I got out of it because I was telling, yeah. I was telling Pags like I'm either pissing or watching people pee. I've ne- and I, one one time I had to do fucking both, and I was like, I don't even think that's fucking legal. This is <laughs> so anyway, so uh, <laughs> my buddy, he was an old infantry guy too. He's from Texas. He's just had a few months. He's he's a good dude. Uh, he goes in the bathroom. Drops his pants all the way down to his ankles. Like on purpose? <laughs> on purpose oh, okay. to fuck with me. And, uh... It's a good dude right there. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that was <laughs> awesome. You know? But, yeah, that's funny that you brought that up. Because yeah, that just yeah. happened to me a week ago. It was... Yeah, last Sunday. So, like, six so days great. ago. But when you see that out in public and you don't know the person, so you don't know if it's, like, real... Or oh, yeah. if, if it's, uh, you know, somebody's just fucking with somebody mm-hmm. else, but... Dude, I've seen it like an old man. So you just walk into the bathroom, and it's just, you're not expecting to see old man ass. And yeah. it's just like right there, you're just like, oh my God. It's like, which is fine, but it just cracks me up. Like, I think I'm definitely going to do that when I get older. Like, just if, if I live to be like 75, just go out in public and just, ah. Uh. <laughs> no shit's given, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, go ahead. now that I'm back. Um, Romania. 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 Yeah. Like, what do you want to know? Like, uh, When did you deploy? How long have you been back? Okay. Uh, the we... years might be off. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, the years may be off. No, uh, we... So, we did our pre-deployment um, September, September, October time frame of 2016. How long is pre-deployment? Uh, for us, it was, uh, so you do 10 days of like pre, pre deployment where you go and you do all these classes and you stay in barracks and we did ours over in, over in Des Moines. Um, that was kind of a, just a, a shit show. No one really knew what we were doing because we just don't deploy that much. We're right. fire, a bunch of firefighters. We don't deploy. Yeah. It's not a huge deploying MOS. So everybody just kind of thinks they know what they're doing, but they okay, really yeah. don't know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was kind of a, I mean, a, it just sounds like the show. army in general. Yep. Yeah. So, and then, so in between that time and the time that we were actually supposed to leave for our pre-deployment down in Texas, we had like four days off. Okay. So we were able to come home, spend, you know, three days and then we had to be back in Des Moines, uh, for three days for our going away ceremony and then leaving for Texas. So, um, we were in Texas from the beginning of November, are actually middle of October, and we ended up deploying, actually leaving states uh, December 2nd of 2016, and then we're gone all of uh, 2017 pretty much. Yeah, because I think when we had Tarzan on, it was, you guys had been back for maybe a month or yeah. something like that, I think. Yeah. I don't remember what episode or... Yeah, so we did a month, about a, a little over a month and a half down in Texas of pre-deployment. A lot of it was just... 
bullshit stuff that you know everybody does it doesn't matter where you're deploying to you do the same stuff yeah i mean probably making sure you got all your affairs yep. in order shit yep. like that so yep you know and we everybody had to be combat life so you know, life support lifesaver so certified yeah. uh before we left and i'm like part of that was like cpr and i'm yeah. like I'm a paramedic, so <laughs> so uh, do I really need this? Like, yes. If you uh, even if you have your CPR, you still have to go through the Army CPR. I'm like, that oh, doesn't fuck. make any sense. Whatever. Is it the whatever. same as the American Heart Association? Yeah, it, it is. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> I'm like, this does this makes zero sense. But okay, I'll go. It's spend, probably I'll so. I'll go spend my two days doing CPR yes. or whatever right. it was. But it's probably just so they if something happens, somebody can't come yeah. back. They're just like, well, no, they took the class even though they were certified before. They yeah. still took. I'm. Sh- it's stupid That's shit like that. Yeah. Common sense is dead, people. Yeah. But like the CLS class, it was actually pretty fun. I enjoyed it, uh, learning some of the Army techniques, because I'd never been see it through CLS, okay. through the Army. Okay. So, you know, and it was it was funny. Like some of the guys were like, after the test, they're like, hey, did you, what'd you get on the test? Like, they're going to beat me on the test. I'm like, it doesn't matter. What <laughs> yeah. Like, well, I got, like, you know, I only missed two. I'm like, well, I still did better than you. <laughs> you know, that's all you need to know. And it, it, I don't know. It's like everybody tried to beat me because I was a paramedic. Yeah, on the test. which, which like, I would do the same thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna sure. lie because yeah. if I got you, I'd been like, you. No, anybody else give me CPR but that guy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. you know, and I, I don't have the. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have the best track record as a paramedic in yeah. CPR, but no one really does. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. You know, I think I, I think shit. I'm like two for like fifty now. Oh, and cardiac arrest Christ. saves. You know. You know, whatever it is, in six years of being a paramedic. Fuck but it. man, if I see you come, then yeah. go get, get yeah, somebody, off the somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and usually I'm not the one doing the compressions. I'm just the one that's right. telling everybody else what to do, and right. you know, directing and giving medications and things like that. But you know, pre-deployment was a lot of fun. With obviously, I'd never been to um, that part of Texas where we yeah. went and. Where were you guys at? Down by Brownsville? Uh, we went to El Paso. El Paso. Yep. We went to El Paso, and and then we'll, we went up to White Sands up in New Mexico for a couple of weeks. That was actually pretty cool. They, that's where they do their missile testing. Okay. So oh, every morning yeah. you could, like, we couldn't go out to a training site, the training site for the fire department until a certain time in the day because they're doing test fires of missiles. Like so over. you could actually see the missiles come flying over. That's awesome. Dude, yeah, that'd they, be pretty sweet. So, I don't think I've was, ever seen a missile in It was life. actually really cool. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, there it goes. There it goes. You can see it going across the sky. Nice. And then, like, all right, you guys are clear. You guys can go out to the training <laughs> site. You know, and we all, we weren't in barracks there. We were actually in, like, hotel room type Shit. rooms. So it was... Living the life. Yeah. So, like, they put us together, like, three people to a room. So there's one I'm person have to sleep on the couch. And then okay. two people got rooms or if two people on a share bed. But mm-hmm. me as the highest ranking person in my room, I was like, I get my own bed. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's just the way it works. Do they think you were Air Force or something? Yeah. Like, why'd they put you up there? I, because they don't have true barracks out oh, there. Oh, okay. And it's just small... Small base out in New Mexico. It's Is really it an Air Force small. base? No, it's uh, it's actually an army base. What's yeah. it called? White Sands. White Sands. Okay. Yeah, White Sands. I never missile. heard of it. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I'd never heard of it. Okay. And yeah, so it was pretty cool. Like they actually have a paid DOD fire department there. Huh. Because of the missile defense. Oh, yeah. Missile oh, yeah. No, dude, that makes sense. sense. That yeah. It was on out there. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so we spent two weeks there, and then we spent like another two weeks out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, doing our combat training and stuff like that. Um, they set us up with, like, like vest with plates in it. And we're like, we're not even going to a combat zone. <laughs> right. We're like, well, we, everyone, it doesn't matter where you're deployed to, you have to take this stuff. We didn't even take M16s with us. <laughs> How do you do CPR through these chest plates? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's a very valid question. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's good. But the training overall is actually pretty fun. Um, a lot of bullshit. I didn't like who we were deployed with. Uh, upper management, right. I should say upper. You're always gonna have shit. that. It does make the deployment you, shittier, I'm sure. But were you guys attached to a company or or just a battalion or 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 what? We were out there by our lonesome. Just OFP, huh? Yeah. Yep. There was uh, what was it? Twenty three of us total. Okay. I think there's twenty three, twenty four of us total. Um. So yeah, it wasn't bad and. 
I mean, it, it's crazy. So, like, when we say that the firefighting units don't deploy, like, I was, obviously, we're all in the unit t together. I was in for eight years and never even heard a word. I mean, they always kind of said, I yeah, guess, they, but yeah. never really did. But just recently, like, Long, he just got back, oh, and so yeah. he just went. You guys have been back for a little bit in yeah. Medina, but, I mean, I think, what it was, you guys were in 12 years before you got your yeah. first deployment. Yep. So, that's, yeah. I mean, that's pretty crazy, especially yeah. since we're, you know, we're in a time of war and stuff like and, that. And, so. Like, one of the units I deployed with, uh, it was a Kansas unit, so it was like two units from my unit, and then another unit that was from Kansas that deployed with us. Um, they had just they've they've actually been to Iraq. That unit had oh, just come shit. back from Iraq a few years ago, so they were actually in Iraq at one point. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so they've done actual truly true firefighting on a flight line in Iraq. What, yeah. what what where were they out of the Kansas uh, the Garden City or I know they got a few down there. I don't remember Hutchinson maybe. Okay, yeah, that sounds familiar. Yeah, Hutchinson, Kansas, I believe is where they're from. Um, they're actually when, when we went to annual training the year before with them. Before I actually even knew I was deploying with them, I didn't like any of the guys. I thought they were a bunch of piece of fucking assholes. All <laughs> and, you know, and they probably thought the same thing about me oh, um, because I get that type yeah. of shit all <laughs> yeah. the time. Even though I'm not right on I the don't nose, think, I don't think I'm an asshole, but maybe maybe I am. You know, it is what it is. I'm very sarcastic when it comes to stuff. Yet you to be determined. This. Yeah, <laughs> and so like I was like, man, I feel sorry for you guys. You're gonna have to fucking deploy with these pieces of shit. Yeah. And I deployed with them. And a couple of them, <laughs> a couple of them, like when I first got, they didn't like me. I didn't like them. Well, mm -hmm. two of the guys I ended up rooming with. Okay, it was me and and Tarzan. Okay. And then two guys that, that I didn't really care for that were in that unit. Okay. And by the time we fucking left there, I had no problems with them. Oh, yeah. So the sort of deployment will do that. Yeah. That's good that it went yeah. that yeah. way and not the other yeah, way, exactly. where you just like end up fucking shitty. hating yeah. somebody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We want to try. <laughs> we want to try to have Long on, and because we uh, we're gonna have you. And then we're going to ask Long to come on, just have like a deployment weekend and, you know, talk about it. But yeah. he just literally, you know, got yeah, back last back, week. Yep. And he's like, if I spend my first weekend <laughs> yeah. away from yeah. my wife, I might get divorced. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, <laughs> Spicy's like, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> so, but yeah, I can't wait to like, hear his story. And, like, yeah, I me too. I'm I don't even know too. really what all I did. So, so you get all that done. So when you get, you put boots in Romania, like what are you doing? Like what's your job there? Um, so... The journey over there was kind of a, a shit show. Mm -hmm. um, when we were we were supposed to leave like the 29th of November, and uh, they had some issues like with our jet. That so we flew instead of flying civilian over there, we flew in a, C, a C5. Jesus, yeah, How was C5, that? and. So it stood that's on the, not the galaxy, right? No, it's not the galaxy. Okay. That's but that's a giant. Yeah, cargo it's a plane. huge cargo jet yeah. that we so we could put all of our stuff like our Kinex boxes in there, and then we you know okay you just go with your slip or you know yeah. and sit around it and everything like that. So get in there, we get there in Texas. They're like, yeah, they, we have a setup. Let's go. You know, we we get to the the place where we're supposed to get on the jet, and they're like, we're having issues with the jet. So we're not going like today. mechanical yeah, problems. Yeah, mechanical issues. Or okay, electronic, yeah. <laughs> electronic issues. I don't remember exactly what it was. Oh. So like, all right. So we gotta get barracks for you guys back on the main post. So we went back to main post, and we're like, all right, we're flying out first thing in the morning. All right, sweet. <laughs> Which I, I'm this. laughing because I know the <laughs> army. Yeah. And so I think everybody who's been in any type of military was just like, yeah, yeah, sure, you're leaving yeah, first thing in the right. morning. Yep. So. <laughs> We ended up leaving, I think, actually on the 1st, and we get that, it wasn't the very first thing in the morning, they had so, still some mechanical and electronic issues with it, but they were able to fix it. Okay. So we got on the flight, like, middle of the afternoon or whatever, and it was literally a 12-hour flight from El Paso, Texas, to Germany. Okay. And while we we stopped in Germany for one night because they you know they're like we could make the whole trip on one trip but it's not smart for the pilots to be flying that far okay. for that, that many for that yeah. long. So we stop off in Germany and they put us up in these like really nice like hotel rooms Shit. like apartments. Okay. Really nice over in Germany is it, it was really cool. And they're like, yeah, like no drinking. And then the last minute, they're like, all right, you know, if you want to have one or two drinks, whatever. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of the guys that was fucking 19 years old went out 
with the guys from Kansas to a club, which, which they weren't supposed to. Where were you guys at in Germany? I don't remember exactly okay. where it was. It was a small Air Force base there. Like um, Ramstein? Or... It was a Ramstein, uh, no. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. But so <laughs> he went out. We're like, where is this kid? Like the next morning, we're like, we got to be on the jet, you know, 6.30 in the morning. We yeah. have to be on the jet. The jet is leaving at 7 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. And uh, where's this guy? Oh no one can find him. He's missing. Such a shit back move. And I don't yeah. know. I, I, I know like shit happens, but god damn that yeah. sucks. Uh, so at least make it back to your room. room. Like <laughs> they sent out people to go look for this guy and try calling him. Couldn't get an answer on a cell phone. And uh, all of a sudden, like it was like kind of cool. It was foggy out there, and all of a sudden he comes walking out of the fog, and stumbling <laughs> all over the place. Like, where have you been? You almost got left here. Yeah. Like, we were to the point where we are going to leave him there. <laughs> oh, my God. And someone would stay back with him and try yeah. to figure out how to get from right. Germany to Romania mm. at that point. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we ended up finding it's just still just fucking just wasted. Of course. He slept outside over all night long. Oh, my God. Yeah, so yeah. he's fucking freezing cold. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> So he was. Uh, so we got on flight. We ended up making it to Romania. Um, we actually landed at the. There's an international, like a, they say, it's an international airport because they got military jets that come in all the time in and out of this place. Right at the base. Okay. Right outside of the base, the civilian oh, and everything. Nice. So we, you know, get there, dropped off, and you know, and this guy's put on restriction for like two weeks. Well, they're like, well, everybody's going to be on restriction now because this one guy fucked up. Hmm. So. We ended up landing, I think, December 2nd, and uh, just different fucking, different world over there, for it's sure. A, how's the weather compared to here? It's it's Same. similar, okay. yeah. yeah. Like, if you draw a line, like, you, you got the picture of the globe up here on your wall, actually. Oh, yeah. So, if you draw a line, I just kind of get up here and show you. Okay. So, Romania I feel like if I'm back in school. Right here. <laughs> okay. That's Romania. So if you draw a line straight from across Nebraska, it's pretty much on the exact nice. same line. Okay. Yeah. So the same the climate uh, is latitude exactly the same. Yeah, latitude. Yeah. No, longitude. Latitude's across, isn't it? Lat is fat. Yeah. 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 Lat lat yeah. yeah. yeah latitude, fat latitude. That's how you remember. Yeah. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> we're right on the Black Sea. We're like. Why's it gotta be black? I don't Jeez. know. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't black. That's for sure. <laughs> It's actually pretty clear. That's crazy. I guess I never really like look. So I mean, does it like where you're at? Are there like the cities? Like, because when I think of Romania, so, I just don't have a picture that comes to mind. So there's a uh, we were in a small town right outside, it was like 20 miles from a city called Constanta, okay. which is right on the Black Sea. And Constanta is like 250 thousand people. So it's pretty good. <sighs> Pretty good sized town. Okay. But uh But it's like first world like cities and stuff like that, like building sets, yeah. skyscraper, stuff like that. No, not really. No, I would say second. Okay. Yeah. Like a second world. I'm just trying to think of like a population. town in Romania, nothing like comes to mind. Like I just wanna see desert. Yeah. But I know like, you know You know the whole Transylvania thing came from Romania, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So that's um that's how we got there. We flew military jet, uh while we were up in the air. <laughs> On the way to Germany, the toilet broke. Oh, like an hour in? <laughs> no, I, I think we had like four hours left to go. Oh, so it's not it, that like, bad. It wasn't that bad. But they have little urinals on the side of the jets that you can pee into. Like you just stand up into it and you just pee into it. Sure. But for like the girls that were, we didn't have any girls that deployed with us, but we, we flew over with uh, the MPs that we were deployed with. Um, they were, they were from Puerto Rico. They're some of the coolest fucking people we've ever met. That's awesome. Yeah, they were awesome. And, uh, <clears throat> so they had some girls, so I, like they had to literally hold it. Oh, dude, that yeah. would suck. Well, what if they just like walked up, like took off their pants and put one leg up yeah, and just tried just to piss right in the urinal, like in Step Brothers? <laughs> yeah. So if you had to poop, you were fucked. Yeah. You were a girl. For four yeah. hours, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And, uh, but luck, and it was cold as fuck. In that jet, it was so cold. Oh, really? Yeah. So it was you so were in like long thing. sleeves, gloves. I thing. was literally, yeah. I had my winter coat, like the fluffy winter coat oh, on. My I had, God. yeah. I was set up. Perfectly. Sounds like like I wasn't bad. Like I got cold. There was a time or two, one in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep when I got cold. But they had like heaters that would blow into it, into the jet, but it wasn't enough to keep it warm inside the okay. jet. Okay. 
So you I can, still probably like, I found one now, so I just I like I literally stayed up holding the side of the jet, so it's like just blown right on top of me. Everybody's like, "What are you doing?" It's like there's heat right here. <laughs> like, oh man, why did I find that? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and then people would like so, like so the the back door would close and kind of like build a ramp, uh-huh. and people would sleep on that ramp next to the con xboxes because once you got up to cruising altitude they're like you can guys can get up and wander around oh dude that but yeah at least you can move you didn't have to stay sitting how long is that flight uh it was 12 hours around uh, it was 11 or 12 hours to germany and then another two or three hours to romania okay so that's not bad at all especially if you that you split it up yeah so yeah because the original thought was we just go straight to romania right you know 14 hours on the jet versus 11 or 12 hours so, and then last minute, the crew was like, we can't go that far. We have to stop in Germany. Yeah. Like, timed out or whatever. Yep. So. Yep. so, yeah, the flight over there was interesting. It was fucking cold. and But overall, the experience wasn't bad. A lot of downtime. We did firefight. Like, we were, so the, the base, when we first got to it, was, there's only, there's less than 100 people on the entire base. Okay. But they Civilians. Had a flight line and shit. No, there was no flight line. Okay. Nope. No flight line there. The The only flight line was actually on the civilian side of the airport. Okay. That was there. So, um, <clears throat> they had barracks. So, it's a, the, the place we were at was a transition base for people that were coming from Iraq or Afghanistan. Okay. They'd fly into there, and then they'd fly to Germany or wherever they're going from there. So, they would come in, sit down for, you know, for a few days, and then de- and then go home hmm. or wherever they were going after that. So it's technically it's transitional base. Um, by the time we left, there was about 3,000, 3,500 people that Jeez. were there. Oh, shit. Yeah, because they were doing the show of force along the you know the Russian border there with all the countries, Poland and, and Romania oh. and Ukraine and all that stuff there. Um, war games type stuff so we had people that would like we there were british soldiers there there were nice. yeah that's kind of so cool was, if you yeah. can see different yeah. different yeah. military yeah. for sure so the british they're a they're a great group of people so they had british firefighters there shitty also. teeth but yeah yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah and these guys so they did actually the flight line stuff for like the the jets and stuff like that because the british had like air had like fighter jets over there that okay. were Mission capable, just in na- just in oh, case they needed it. Um, so they ran the, fl- the that actual aspect of the flight line. So we didn't do anything with that. It was all British. But they what, kind had, of, what kind of planes are we talking here or fighters are we talking? I about? don't even you know? know, like F-16s type. I don't honestly. I have no idea what they were. <laughs> and like, and then you had the Romanians. They had fighter jets there also. They just you know come and go as they, they you know as they did, but. They'd fly right over the base, and like you, you could see them, like there'd be, you know, five hundred feet up in there, just oh, so whizzing not. over the buzzing the towers, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just loud. Shit as yourself, fuck. just shit yeah. yourself the first time you heard it. Yeah, yeah, just loud as fuck. Like what in the hell, you know? And their jets are like weird because they're like blue on the bottom of them, okay. but they're brown on top. It's oh. weird. So okay. like, what the hell? That's not an American jet. That's not <laughs> a British jet. What the hell is that? <laughs> we figure it out. Like, oh yeah, that's the Romanians and. You know, because they, we were attached to a Romanian Air Force base. Okay. And uh, but the British, they they came in there and they, they so they had to set up tents. Uh, they set up a tent and it was their their bar. They had a <laughs> they literally had a, a tent that was just for the uh, the the British bar. Dude, that's yeah. insane. So they come up and invite uh, the, uh, us down there and could you, you, guys you go? pay like two bucks a bottle of beer or yeah. something like that. Yeah. So we could go, but it, they'd only invite certain people. Right. Yeah. You know, of course. Certain units and things like that. Dude, that's pretty cool though. Yeah, that's like awesome. that's yeah, so the British had gangster. their own they had their own bar on this post. <laughs> and no one said anything because who the fuck is gonna say anything to them? Yeah. It gives, it? I mean if they're causing trouble and they're like have to yeah. be like kick people out like on yeah. Roadhouse every night or yeah, something, yeah, you know. Exactly. But yeah. and so yeah, we uh, we got in pretty good with some of the British guys, and we'd always have cookouts and stuff like that up the up at the fire station on the weekends, nice. and people would just come up and hang out. We had volleyball during the summer. We had a volleyball net out back, and we had a huge barbecue, our smoker. 
also, so it out back, so everybody bringing meats and smoke and stuff like that. So yeah, we'd have huge parties at That's the awesome. fire station during the summer on the nice, weekends. Man. Yeah. Let the record show. I did finish he my did. Smirnoff. It is done, so all it took just over ninety minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but overall, we did fire. We we were the firefight, like the structural firefighting for uh, the base, the oh, small base that okay. we were on. Uh, and Any calls? We, were, we ran a total of zero calls. <laughs> Damn. Zero. Yes, that would you guys be. Should have started shit like in backdraft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just go start fucking buildings on yep. fire. Yeah, we should have actually. Yeah. No, it, so is it like no, an easy deployment then? It was. Or? It really was. I, I it mean, was, get it under your belt. It's for more sure. of a, uh, I always called it a vacation deployment. Really, yeah. it was. Hey, there's nothing had, wrong with we that, We could man. come and go like on our, if we were off. So we'd work 48, 48, and 48. So 48 hours, 48 hours. 48 hours on shift, then 48 hours on a callback basis, and then 48 hours off. So on okay. those 48 hours off, you could Yeah, go. on the 48 hours off, we could leave base. We could go wherever we wanted to. We could have like... A weekend pass where we could go to um, Bucharest is what it's called. Oh, nice. Bucharest is uh, Bucharest, Romania. So you could go to Bucharest, Romania. Uh, it's like a three-hour, four-hour drive from there or two-hour train ride if you wanted to try. I never went. Um, I had no desire to. I oh, I would have gone just to go. You know, that would have been fun. Like, I would have done the train. It been yeah. shady as fuck. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I get it if you don't really want to send me and spend a bunch of money. Because I'm yeah. sure you could easily That's exactly leave why. Broke. I, yeah. I just, <laughs> some of those guys, like, they literally didn't save up any money when they were Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Because they're always doing something. Always going out. Always getting drunk. You know, partying. Going to clubs. That's That, that would be a tough deployment for money. Yeah. Because if you have that freedom, like most deployments, you can't spend Yeah, money. you can't you do can't it. You can't go yeah. out. You're not allowed to drink. So something like that, like, yeah, young guys are going to have a problem, yep. you know. Yeah, and then, like, our on our callback days, so we'd have to have four people to staff an engine just in case something were to go down. So could you do, like, a trade? So like you that? could do, yeah, you could, if there was somebody, like, the guys were off, you could be like, hey, you know, I want to go do something with so-and-so, mm-hmm. and, you know, you might cover it for me. Like, yeah, yeah, we got you. Yeah, because they're sure going to be there ar- anyway. I'm sure yeah. you could arrange. Like, yeah. You could have six days off. Yeah. Or eight yeah. days off. Yeah, and then if you, you could, really wanted to. Yep. You could go to fucking Germany or something. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and people did. Like, yeah. uh, my buddy Molt, he actually went to uh, Italy nice. with his wife. His wife came over. Well, fiance at that time came over, and they went to Italy and spent, I think, eight days in Italy. Nice. Five, Dude, that's days. if you could and, do that on deployment, yeah. Yeah. that's awesome. Now, do you have to get written permission yes. from somebody to yeah. do that? So you have to. So you have to fill out like a, a form, and you have to tell them where you're going, who you're meeting, uh, what your plan is to get there on the way back, and it's got to go all the way up to the uh, base commander. Yeah. And it could get denied yeah, at any so, point. Yeah, it could get denied at any point. So it's kind of up to the base commander whether or not you can go. And there was never. It was actually never. I didn't see anybody ever get denied. Yeah. So I just didn't know, like, with you, with that guy who got, you know, that nineteen-year-old who like showed up. Yeah. We almost had to leave if that fucked you guys over for a no, while. No, it did. It did to like, you know, especially for him, it, it fucked him over for a month. He couldn't do anything for yeah, a month. Yeah, that sucks. But how long? How long was your total deployment? Uh, we were in country about ten months. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I, in grand scheme of things, it really wasn't that bad. And they put out no leaving base for the first two weeks anyways. So, oh, yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Get, yep. get it scheduled and stuff. So, and, so, oh, go ahead. And so, yeah, it, like, it was, by the end of the deployment, no one gave a shit. It's like, hey, yeah, we got, you know, we got so-and-so staying. And I'm like, really? They're off base right now. How do you, how do you get him to cover for you when he's off base? Like, at some point, I was like, you know what? Not even fucking worth it. You know, yeah. we've been on zero calls since we've been here. <laughs> I there mean, that, zero calls before we got yeah. here. Yeah, that definitely know? would have sucked if something did happen. You needed yeah. nobody was there for yeah. sure. Thank God it didn't. But right. man, you can't get too relaxed yeah. with shit like that because if something goes down, then it's your ass for yeah. sure. And the thing is, is like most military bases now were so fire protected. Yeah, yeah. Especially, that, especially like the U.S. Yeah. Air Force bases, they're all. Yep. Type one construction, yep. all sprinkler. It's yep. not the same with Army and Marines, but most military bases, yep. all the new buildings there are type one. Yep, and that, that's what this one was. All the buildings there are type one, all sprinkled. So we didn't like, 
we'd always go like my smoke alarm's going off in my room you know guys come down and check it out we go down it's just a dead battery yeah. or a low battery yeah. or like we don't do anything with that so yeah. you gotta call dpw or housing yeah. and they yeah. come fix it for you so at one point we we're sending every time that someone called the fire station for that we'd send the engine down to check it out yeah. and towards the middle and towards the end of it yeah we would uh, just send like our dually truck down, our utility yeah. truck Might down well. with one person just to go check it out. Yeah, yeah it's so stupid, dude. I mean, that's that's the deployment you want to get on, though. I mean, especially it for was, your first yeah. one, like, and that's good that you you know saved up money and you know yeah. and shit like yeah. that. So um, I don't remember what the fuck I was gonna ask earlier. Uh, oh, so when you went there, um, did you guys have to set everything up like dispatch stuff, or were there people who had already yep. set it up? Nope. Uh, so dispatch is already set up prior to us getting there, but so we did eight hour eight hour shifts on dispatch. Okay. So if you were or twelve hour shifts on dis, dispatch, excuse me. So if you were uh, technically on callback, you also did a twelve hour shift of dispatch now is now did you guys just rotate that or was there just one person that you picked who always did it when you're on it's a rotation back? yep okay. there's a rotation yep so you would eventually have to do it and then how often would you end up having to do it then so would it be like every fourth time you yeah. were on or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. it was so when we first started doing it our my e6 didn't dispatch uh -huh. so um makes sense yeah, so by the end of it, we're like, well, you know, we we could have more time off if we if he did that. Yeah. So he volunteered to dispatch also. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So uh, it gave people the ability to have a little bit more time off. Cool. You know, and every so you, there's a rotation. So every so like if I were to come off shift, I go to dispatch. So I dispatch for the first twelve hours of my first shift off or on callback and then i go to so, so i go dispatch and then i do callback and then i do call back for the, the remaining 36 hours oh okay yeah so, that's not bad at rotate, all so the next time i'd have callback dispatch, dispatch okay 24 hours of callback so i okay. rotated around so eventually you would have where you'd have you know two 48 hour shifts completely off where you weren't on callback or dispatch oh dude that's awesome yeah. dude, that's like the and fucking we had it. money schedule it had yeah, absolutely up. it's like <laughs> uh i need my four days off yeah dude, we had, really <laughs> you didn't do anything <laughs> we I had it set up so where okay. every single every single set there was actually two people off on our unit for 48 hours nice dude so that way you had a person to go and like, if you want to go into town you could go into town that's great right. off pace so, so be... so you guys just did fire no medical nope did they have paramedics there uh they or had corpsmen that... okay and how Maybe did they Corman. make runs I'm no sure. no no jesus christ yeah uh, i'm sure that people would come in mm -hmm. and go like there was no ambulance set up or anything oh, they geez. had a van okay that they would just go and pick, if there was a true medical emergency, yeah. they would just go pick them up. Okay. And there was actually doctors actually on, on post. Okay. Military doctors. So you always had a physician there, always. Mm. And uh, so you had Navy corpsman and then a physician that was on duty. Like a, That's cool. Yeah. So I didn't ever hear of anything crazy going on mm. medically-wise when I was there, but... No weird stuff stuck in the old jail wallet or anything? Nope. That's too bad, man. Yeah. Nope. I love hearing about those. <laughs> yeah, me too. But no, it never happened. And the unit that we replaced, they had like a possible car fire at the front gate yeah. the day before we relieved them. <laughs> so that was their only call for the entire deployment that we were there. Oh, my God. And we didn't have anything. And so we split time. I, I got to kind of add this in. So we split time um, a month at a time. We would go to Bulgaria also because okay. we we're doing that, the yeah. fire, the, the you know fire suppression for the Bulgarian yeah. uh, military base that was there also. So we were lucky. We went in January um, over to Bulgaria, and while we're in Bulgaria, you don't do anything. Like it's the same thing, right? Just nicer equipment, like big fire station where you literally we spent. We did two days at the gym just because there was nothing else to do. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, and the guys were uh, just loving it. A lot of the guys got really big, really strong. And, Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, so it was, uh, Bulgaria was pretty cool. 
Um, How often did you say you would go there? Like as your so we did a ro- we did rotations. So every unit had to go over for a month at a time for two times, and one oh, unit had to go once dude, or it had to go three times. Dude, that's not bad at yeah. all, man. Yeah, no, but it was like a six hour drive. I, I was just getting ready to ask how yeah. far. Did, yeah, that would so. Yeah. So when we first went, we were lucky. <laughs> We were lucky that we got to fly a, a Blackhawk over there. Oh, dude, that's yeah. the way to do it. So, literally, we got first time I'd ever been in a helicopter. Yeah. And it happened to be a Blackhawk. I was so excited. I have actually videos of it. And uh, so, we, it was like a two-hour trip by Blackhawk, four hours, six hours by, by vehicle. And literally, they... Literally, we pack all our stuff on these Blackhawks and you just fly hold over. It? Would you have yeah. to just hold it? They there? put it on like a uh, crate. Oh, okay. So they Perfect. Can keep it, they keep yeah. it secure it, and uh, put cargo net over it. And that went in one Blackhawk, and everybody else got in the other Blackhawk. Dude, awesome. So, took off, landed, and they're like, "We don't have time. You guys really need to just get your stuff. The other unit get on." Because we gotta fly back. We don't have enough. We have just enough fuel to land for you guys to get your stuff off yeah. and go back. So, that's something you like, probably shouldn't time that close. You yeah, know? Right. yeah. And like, so the unit that we replaced is the active duty unit that we were deployed with. So we didn't even get to meet these guys. Like, hey, you know, nice to meet you. Yeah. You know, yeah. you shake your hands. They get on the helicopter. And they fly off, and like we had no handover or anything like oh. that. But we were the only units that got to do it. Like. Us and the active duty units were the only two units that got to fly Blackhawk. After that, they put a kibosh. <laughs> oh, dude, that's fucking awesome, yeah. though. The fact that you got to do it. Yeah, and yeah. in a Blackhawk, that's fucking yeah. phenomenal. And then the second time we went, we actually went by vehicle. And it was, you know, summer at that time. Oh, okay. So it was pretty cool to go, you know, drive over there because you go through mountains and yeah. stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. What's, uh, what's one thing that uh, realized, like, when you were out and about that you saw in Romania that's, like, this is definitely not the United States. Everywhere you went. Like, there's just, like, some type of a cultural thing. Is there anything that stands out? Like, oh, there's, like, a brothel over there. Is that um, or... Hookers. Yeah. On the side of the street. Like, literally, you could be out in the middle. You could be... We saw hookers out in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. Like, Jesus. just on the side of the road. You mountain just, hookers. Yeah, mountain oh, hookers. Never, Jesus. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, so, uh, prostitutes uh, just alongside the road. Everywhere, like you're like, oh yeah, that's a prostitute for sure, yeah. you know, and you know, and it was another thing is like during the summer when we we're on the Black Sea, you know, they say, oh yeah, we're going to the topless beach, but when you get there, all the beaches over there are topless. Oh, nice. so like the culture. What about bottomless though? That's, uh, a, that's you, a big thing. You saw ki- <laughs> like the weird thing is is you see little kids that were completely naked out there. I mean that I you. Depending on where you go here in the United States, you could probably see yeah. that too. But yeah, that it's would be a little the weird. culture of the United States being, you know, we've got to be covered all the time. Right. You know, yeah. you can't show your boobs or anything. Yeah. Like, I've yeah. I've been to yeah. like a topless beach before, and it's they won't let you show your a, dick anywhere in America. No, no. it's fuck ridiculous. You. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> so just being on the beach and knowing, like, fuck this, and all fuck the, you. <laughs> yeah, seeing all the people, all the you know, boobs and stuff like that, even gross boobs. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I get it, but see, that's the thing, is it's like you feel weird because you like try not to look just because you're not used to it. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit. No, they like, don't. You know, yeah, I, the no. top of speech, I probably couldn't tell you one person that I remember from there. I'm like, yeah, yeah. you know, it is what it is. So. You can always tell, like, the like the, there's a lot of girls that would very fake boobs. You could be like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, those are fake for real. <laughs> you know, and fake ass. You saw, I saw a lot of fake asses also. I guess that's good. Fake asses are getting big. Yeah. I'm not hating yeah, so nope. it's those two things were the major thing, and then uh, the gypsies. Mm. Uh, like, you can see, you even call them gypsies anymore? Yeah. Is, is, yeah. That, is that all right? Okay. So. Yeah, so gypsies, gypsies over there are like your homeless people, right? That are just nomadic, uh, versus like like what you see on TV. The gypsies here, are like you know. Are not what real gypsies are. Okay. Yeah, like you know, over in Romania, gypsies like you see the gypsy kids. Like you walk off base, and you, little gypsy kids would be standing outside. So, mo so. money, me 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 me. Now, like, yeah. me 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 money. Now, now do they so. have like magic powers? No, good no. Great that's question. a very yeah. good. That's a very valid question. I, I don't think that maybe they did. Maybe they yeah. put spells on us. We just didn't know it. Voodoo hex. Yeah, <laughs> but it was pretty cool. Like the little kids. That would there's four little kids that would sit outside a base and where people would walk off base and ask for money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
one day it was like towards the end of the deployment. It's like you know what we should do is get. They're like, hey, we got a fifty dollar, you know, fifty whatever it was over there. Yeah, uh, lay is what they use. So like fifty lay is like, yeah. you know, ten bucks here in the United States. Okay. Like that. Um, it's four. To, it's closer four to one relationship wise or exchange wise. They're they're not on the euro then. No, okay. they're on completely. So separate. you could stretch yeah. money over there, yeah. then. dude. That's nice, yeah. especially so, for those guys going out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, these kids would. You give them five lay, they'd be ecstatic. Like really? you know, like hell yeah. You know, like <laughs> us over here, you found twenty bucks on the bill on the ground. I'd be like hell yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. You know, and <clears throat> so like we're like you know what we should do is. Like, like 100 lay and be like hey you fight that kid and whoever <laughs> wins whoever wins gets this yeah that's you know but we never there. did like no. I mean, <laughs> it would be allegedly great. Yeah. allegedly yeah <laughs> like, like, bitch. Like, yeah gypsy going... gypsy kid fights world star. <laughs> world, world star yeah and everybody's like that's a great idea we should have done that you know and, and it, it, they would you'd hand them like one lay like no no I don't want that because it's a quarter <laughs> oh, that's a quarter for us but it's one lay for them yeah. okay hey and, money's money man yeah. that shit adds like, up no 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 I, I don't want that no yeah. <laughs> alright then you don't get anything we just walk away from them yeah you know, how and, old do you think they were oh they are probably seven eight years oh, old oh okay yeah dude yeah that's crazy and then I guess towards the end of the deployment well, so there's like a major highway that went through this town uh, that we were at to the city of Constanta. And uh, I guess one of the kids ran out in front of a semi and get hit by a semi. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. Those things don't stop very nope. quickly. No. So. Nope. So, yeah. It's like, so we had four kids when we first started. We had three by the time we were ending it that would sit outside of base and try to get money off of people. Yeah, he's throwing us for a loop. It was that fight club. One of the kids yep. died. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, you ain't, you ain't bullshitting us. <laughs> Come on, nasty and friends, after all this time and bullshit us. Yep. The old throw the dead kid in the other <laughs> side. Yep. 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 Disrespectful, Harry, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah the, the other kid ended up getting 100 bucks off of that. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. It's a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, that, that's fucking awesome, but, man. Like, there's malls over there, like, just like American malls. Mm-hmm. literally stores yeah I mean I, I kind of like it's just hard like you just don't know like I just and when I think of Romania I, I don't really remember ever seeing anything because yeah. uh, like uh, you know last podcast we were talking about Seoul you know South Korea oh, yeah. and so I've seen on TV so I know what it looks like that comes to mind but when yeah. you say yeah I was in this town in Romania like you just I just draw a blank like for whatever yeah. reason I just see like desert and like sand castles that's, yeah. that's what it is that's, that's the way when, uh, when I was in Bosnia and they were like hey you guys are going to Budapest that's it I I think in America they teach you, like, hey, this is America. Right. Everywhere else in the world is shit. Like we're better. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. everything else is trash. Uh, they don't live like us. And then you start going to other places. You're like, this is actually probably better than America. And like, you know what I mean? Like things are awesome and different. And I love seeing different cultures, different you know things, different mm-hmm. foods. It's it's awesome. So yeah, I've never been to Romania, but it's, I'm sure it's, it's pretty it's trashy. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's actually pretty trashy. It's, oh, I, bet, I know it's poor. Yeah, it's very. It's the the wage gap there is so much more than it is here. So you got really? either you're extremely rich or you're dirt poor. Yeah, there's, there's no not between. not a lot yeah, of middle class. Like that in yep. India too. Yeah. Yep. So you got yeah. you like you got people that are driving around in Lamborghinis and Ferraris, and then you got sure. people that are fucking begging for money down the road in a horse and buggy. Yeah, that's you know, that sounds like like India, you know. Yeah, that's there's that, really man. no there's really no middle. I'm sure there is a somewhat of a middle class, but it's yeah. not great, yeah. you know. And I've done a little bit of re- when I was over there. I did a little bit of research on like doctors over there mm-hmm. make a, equivalent to the United States about. Twenty five hundred dollars a month being a doctor over there. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, twenty five hundred. Yeah. That's I make more than that yeah. here yes. in the United yes. States. That's scary. Yeah. So like doctors were leaving Romania unless you had your own private practice, right? Because the government ran the the healthcare system uh, over there. Okay. So, you know, if you, I wouldn't be caught. Dead in a hospital over there. <laughs> no, no, no tetanus. No. Yeah, you get it. It's just SOP to get tetanus when you walk into yeah. a hospital. Over and there. I had a, like I had a tooth that broke off Ugh. while I was over there, and I'm like, fuck, I don't know. Maybe I should just wait until I get back to you know. Hopefully they either fly me to Germany to get it fixed. Yeah. 
But what's like, worse than Romanian doctors? Romanian dentists. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for sure. yeah, like, you like ten bucks an hour. <laughs> so I went to sick call and I was like, "Hey, I did this tooth break off. Uh, what do you guys recommend?" They're like, we have a dentist we send people to in town. He's like, all right, cool. I'm like, well, fuck, I might as well get it done. Yeah. It's like, there's no way if you get me to Germany to get this fixed. Like, no, we don't fly people to Germany to get this fixed. They probably put, did they put in a vampire fixed. tooth? No, no. That would have been fucking sick. Yeah, that would have been badass. You're huh? squeaking. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that would have been right. sick as fuck. And, uh, so I get, to, like, you're flying, like, driving, they take you there, and you're in this van, and the, you know, and you're driving through this shitty part of town, and I'm like, fuck we're going to the shitty part of town <laughs> wait the whole city yeah. is pretty shitty yeah so we get there and i'm like well this building is actually really nice i'm really impressed <laughs> in the shitty part of the, in constanta and like i'm walking up to the and really nice inside oh. they make you put fucking like boots over oh, like the, nice. the like the er boots over your yeah. shoes like the booties yeah booties over your shoes before you go in i bet there. that made you feel better and i'm like wow. holy shit all right all right yeah. i'm feeling a little bit better about this and uh, the dentist was, she spoke really good English. Yeah, she probably, um, well, I mean, yeah. if they sent everybody there, she probably yeah, deals. Very good English, and I think she did a lot of her, like, she did some of her time to become a dentist in the United States. What's the language there? I don't know. It's, I think it's Romanian. I think is, it, Romanian is, is it like language. their own language? I yeah, they, it's in their own language. It's a little, it sounds like Spanish mixed with a little Italian, maybe. Well, I mean, Spanish and Italian sounds so similar yeah. anyway. Yeah, so, similar. Yeah. yeah. So it was kind of like that, but they had their own language. Hmm. Yeah. I never tried to learn anything of it, which I probably should have. But yeah, the dentist did awesome with my teeth. Like, I had no problems whatsoever. Hmm. I still have the same tooth that she put in to get it fixed. And, yeah. Well, so you're not 100% American? Nope. Is that what you're oh, saying? I'm a little bit of Romania in me. Hell yeah. Unfucking believable. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like, but hospital wise, I've heard her, I'd never been to one over there, but the horror stories from oh, people I that have been dude. in there is just like, there's no cleanliness to it whatsoever. Hmm. It's, it's pretty nasty, dirty, but um, overall, the experience was great. Yeah, that's awesome. Would I want to go back? Uh, for deployment wise, it would be easy to plan it, obviously, again. Yeah. But, you know, it's... I'd rather ex- do something with my career. For sure, dude. And, and Versus, you know, just going over and being... Yeah, no, 100%. Like, I, uh... Like, we want... In our profession, we want to fucking do yeah. things and want to work. Like, yeah. I... Being at a busy firehouse, I just did a trade day for Hladic. Mm-hmm. And I did it out west. And I'm like, if I do a trade day, I'll, I'll do it, whatever. I haven't been outside of my battalion at work yeah. in years, you know? So I'm like, yeah, I'll fucking do it. It was a newer station. Or not a newer station. They had a remodel. Yeah. It's nice. Had your own room. It's one of the nicest stations, I think, in the city is what people yeah. said. I haven't been to the station in six years or so uh, since the remodel. And it's fucking nice, dude. It was like a fucking palace. Uh, it was slow out there. Which was nice for a trade day. But yeah. At the same time, I'm like, shit. We made a run right away in the morning. We had an unconscious person, and uh, they needed a driver. So we got the patient out, unconscious. Uh, I jumped up to drive. I'm like, I have no fucking idea where we're at. They're like, go to this. We were in a gated community. Yeah. And I'm like, Jesus, this isn't like what I'm used to. Yeah. So we finally found, found it, boom, went to the hospital. Uh, it was all good, but... Uh, then after that, not a call again until like nine o'clock at night. And it was like a, I think we had two or three runs, and I was like, "This is nice, yeah. you know, for like a trade day." Trade but day, at the yeah. same time, I'm like, uh, "There's no mo- only so much sitting around you can do." Yeah, it's a whole to it's, something it, else to do. That, yeah. that was just 24 hours, but I'm like, I'm, you know, and it's good and bad. Like mm-hmm. the station I'm at is one of the oldest. It, it's yeah. the oldest station in the city. Yep. It's terrible. We had a roach infestation. We have mice. The AC sucks. The city controls. <laughs> Yeah. And so it's 72 degrees. A lot of times it's 80 degrees in the bedroom. Like it, mm-hmm. it's a horrible station and we're fucking busy, dude. Like we have the, we have the South side Terrace. We have the projects. We have, oh, we have a <laughs> two high rise, uh, low income buildings. We have a, a homeless shelter. We have a recovery addiction center. Like we have just a lot of, you know, poverty in our area. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like working there because it's busy. I like seeing the kids. I like trying to help the kids. Yeah. And uh, giving out stickers and just being in that area. I like being busy. Yep. Being on uh, the rich part of town, 
it sucks, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. it, it was it was a long day. Anyway, uh, I like being busy, so uh, I I went to an Inspector Two course back down at San Angelo. Yeah. Uh, ten years after I went there, San Angelo was where all three of us went to the fire academy for the military. It's a DOD institute. So we go there. You go to the initial fire training, and you get your firefighter one, firefighter two, your aircraft rescue, firefighting, your hazmat, ops. I think ops and awareness. Yep. And then they have a bunch of courses you could go later for rescue and confined space and all that stuff. And they have additional courses. So when I went down there for Inspector Two, it it was. Me and one other civilian firefighter, and the rest were all uh, active duty firefighters. Yeah, most of them were Air Force, and they don't do shit. You know, like it just like you were talking about, like Romania. They're like, uh, the instructors, like, you know, how many you guys do, you know, you guys have many working fires, and they're like, no, like, no. Like, there was guys, yeah. with, and they were all in a fucking tough spot because it was like, you know, we've all been here, they're all NCOs, you had to be in, you know, so they're all 14 years in, 15 years in. Like, not making a working fire. Like, all the... And they talk about their bases. They're like, yeah, they're all type 1 construction. They're all sprinkler. Uh, they don't do shit, you know? And I'm like, that'd be fucking a nightmare. Like, oh, yeah. So, they were talking to me. And I'm like, yeah, we're... You know, I'm in a city. And we're busy. We have everything. Yeah. You know? And yeah. they're like, oh, that'd be, that's pretty cool. I'm like, yeah, I guess so, you know? Yeah, that's, that's uh, what we do. <laughs> and I had one fucking guy, man. Uh, he said... They brought up unions... And the guy's like, yeah, I don't think unions are important anymore. And I was like, are you what? fucking kidding me? And I said, hold <laughs> up. You know, so I, no, and I stopped the class. I'm like, hey, hold up. I think that's shit that anytime you hear that, well, I don't think that's important anymore. I realize now, not from that, but other stuff, that's what ignorant people say. Yeah, right? absolutely. Like I've, I've heard. Lack of education. Yeah, lack of education. Shit, when I've heard that about women's rights. I've heard that about black people. Or, yeah. You know, like uh, when I hear that, you know, about unions, like. No, 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 no. You have no fucking idea. Yeah. Like, you don't, you don't know what unions do. Like, you, they, they're still working. Yeah. It's well, If it wasn't for unions, it would still be a, a fucking yeah. problem. I know in the military, it's different. they're active duty. They have no idea. Right. You know? But, uh, and then it also brings me back to, like, the guys that worked at uh, the Air Force Base yeah. out, out there that don't do shit, you know. And I still yeah. tell the story, like, uh, those guys had the uh, car fire. Like five years later, they're still telling the story. They're about telling the story about. <laughs> yeah, and I ran up and I fucking smashed the window and we fucking opened the holes. I'm like, what? Like, like I wouldn't even <laughs> tell anybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if I came home, like... I did. I don't go to car fires because I'm on a truck company. Right. right. So we don't go to car fires, uh, but I was on the engine. I, I made two car. The last two times I was on an engine, I made a car fire. One. Uh, so I did, I guess, tell the story. But if I was on an engine all the time, car fires are like yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's a dime a dozen. Yeah, they're awesome. Though. They're <laughs> awesome. I love but, car but fires. I, if, if Camus was like, you do anything yesterday? I'd be like, eh, I don't know. Mm. I, maybe I'd be like, oh, we had a car fire. Yeah. I, but I wouldn't definitely like tell people about it. And then five years later, be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that car fire that I told yeah. you about? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of. It's all about a, perspective, man. Yeah. So, so the department I work for is accommodation department. And they, uh, this, we get, we got people that are volunteers oh, for yeah, other yeah. departments also. Mm-hmm. And there's someone, someone brought it up. It's like, Hey, you should, uh, look up urban dictionary of ketchup dick. Ketchup dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never heard that term. So I'm like, all right. So I did. So it's a, it's a derogatory term for volunteer firefighters. <laughs> oh. That talk about their raging trash can fire. That they <laughs> <laughs> and they so continue dick, to I've heard cheese dick. I've yeah. never heard ketchup, ketchup dick. No. Yeah, you know, and they uh, they tell the story like they're constantly. You know, they're yeah. coming back to the station, tell their story. A year later, still telling that story about their raging trash can fire that they had, yeah. and then they go home and <laughs> beat off so bad to the their raging dumpster fire, trash can fire, until they're. <laughs> their dick starts bleeding. <laughs> that's ketchup. Good. When you said ketchup dick, I was like, I knew it wasn't gonna be this, but in my head, I was just like, that's like, 
like having sex with a chick who's on her yeah, period. Yeah, yeah. That's my, but I like I figured it was fire related. Yeah. So I was just like, I've never heard that. That's good. So we like we call a couple of the guys. You know, we're like, hey, what's up, Katie? You know, <laughs> they they know what it is too. Yeah. So they you know they laugh about it. You know, That's a pretty of guys, funny. But yeah, it's it's KD. Yeah, you're a KD. You know that, right? I, <laughs> yeah, I've never heard that. I love different yeah. names for shit. Like when you uh, like um, when I worked for the railroad for like those two months or whatever. Um, people who just like record. Board, like trains or like s- just stay by yeah. to watch them. The, oh, yeah. the, uh, the railroad train. people yeah. call those people foamers. Foamers. Huh? Yeah, because they're so excited, they're foaming at the mouth. Oh, like, oh, train. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, when you always see this. So, but I didn't know that's what they were called until they're like, oh, that's we'll come funny. up and they're probably like, I'll probably have some foamers up here. We have them all the time. So yeah, yeah so anytime that's that awesome. you see, foamers. yeah, and they get pissed too because like sometimes guys will stick their hand out the window and wave, yeah. and they don't want that because they want just the train. Yeah. And you just see like this hand <laughs> out. And, yeah, people are just recording shit. So uh, yeah, so yeah, it's. I love my job. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I, oh, I don't think like sometimes I've, I've actually thought about, you know, it'd be nice to have a nine to five job where I'm home on the weekends and, you know, I get to spend time with my wife every yeah, single night. Yeah, but you get way more time at home. But I get, if you think about it, if I don't work all the overtime that I technically still do, mm-hmm. I would be at home way more. Yeah. Yeah, way exactly. More. And, and the thing is, is like, I wouldn't trade Like I, I don't know what else I would do. I was going to ask, what do you think you would be doing? I I don't know. Honestly, I'd probably be active duty military doing something. Right. Probably a flight medic. Now, because I know, do you think you would go, because I know you're a big weather guy, Um, like you love the weather and stuff, do you think Mm -hmm. you'd be maybe trying to do something with that? Uh, I mean, I were you ever know. big into it that much? Where I, you I was I, when I was younger. That's what I. That's yeah. I remember really you saying what I that. wanted to do was be a, a meteorologist or a storm chaser of some sort. But you know, I don't know. Sometimes I don't like that's way above my my smarts level. Right. Yeah, I hear you. You know, and I I don't think I could do anything else besides what I do now. Yeah. And you know, and especially for like. I make okay money. You know, you probably make better than what I do. You should have been doing it for longer than I have. But, you know, we don't do it for the money anyways. We right. But it also the, gives you the opportunity yeah. to do something else. Like we, like last week's podcast, we talked about, um, you know, him working his the medical job to oh, go right. like, yeah. to the different. Yeah. Medical? Yeah, 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 for all that shit. And you can so. do that. Yeah. I don't know. You don't, you don't work it, though, do you? No. Yeah, that other side job definitely would be, uh, I kind of... You might want to edit that one out. <laughs> no, you'll be all right. All right. Yeah. yeah, we've talked about it before. Oh, okay. so All right. Yeah. Um, no, uh, I haven't. It's probably because all the good ones are on my shift, it seems like. <laughs> and, like, I look at some of the guys, like, some of the guys that are on my department also yeah. work there. And okay. I'm like, oh, well, if I work this one, I'm going to be stuck with that guy. I don't want to fucking work with that guy. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So... Um, so I'm like, I don't want to pick that up because I know I'm going to get, it, it, when I get there, I'm going to be stuck with that fucking guy and I don't fucking like him. Oh, maybe not, dude. You uh, know, because they're EMT basics. So I'm yeah. like, like, I, 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 especially the ones that I know, like, you know, Fox or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, he works there too sometimes. Yeah. And like, I'm like, fuck, I'll, maybe I'll get to work with Fox. And I'm like, fuck. But they, but they know. wouldn't do that. They would, what they do, like, especially like if you're new, they're going to say, Hey, uh, uh, we're going to put you with Spicy because yeah. he knows the building. He's been doing this for a long yeah. time. Uh, this is your first time here. So mm-hmm. then, like, if you showed up for, like, your first shift and I was working since I'm an yeah. MT, I would be like, hey, I'll take yeah. Mary. And then I would be able to show you all the all the different stairwells, mm-hmm. all the different, whatever, whether we're in, in the building, building or the ballpark or, yeah, or whatever. Ballpark, yep. And uh, I, I've, I've taken on, like, people who this is their first time multiple times because I know the buildings and I know where the stairwells are and how to get to places. And... Heck, even my battalion chief just started doing it. No. Oh. So, yeah, he uh, he worked with Kuba the other day. Oh, no shit? Here a while ago, I guess. Oh, I shot out to Kuba, too. Yeah, I miss that guy. I haven't yeah. seen him in a while, either. But, like, I love my job. There's some shit, shitty aspects to it that this, the public doesn't know. Right. But they don't oh, no, it. no. And, and for your department, like, I know multiple people on your department and they all voice the same thing and it's it's fucking shitty the way it is yeah. and to be a city your size and to have the problems you you have mm-hmm. you have to get the public I feel like you have to, your union has to get the public involved and people don't know the issues yeah. people don't know what's wrong but 
he, it's fucked up. Like, it's been fucked up, and that's leadership. But, yeah, it's shitty, man. And, yeah. And, 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 oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say a caveat, a caveat off that. It's just, uh, we got broken down shit. Like, we, oh, yeah. We have. You guys love a truck company. Yeah, we don't even have, we have, you know, a pretty good population. We're absolutely. a suburb of the, the your department yeah, that has absolutely. a pretty good population. And, you know, I, without giving a point, you know, it's 50,000 plus. Yeah. You know, it's, right. it's, it's well over that. I'll just give you that much. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have four, you know, four stations mm -hmm. and no truck companies. They're all engine companies. That's insane. And That's we crazy. mutual aid for our truck companies if we have working fires. Yeah. And, you know, if they're out on a call, then what do we do? You know, we're fucked. Right. Especially, especially if you get to an apartment fire, your third floor, and, right. you know, and you got people that are stuck on balconies that yeah. have no way to go. I've never heard of that. You know, we don't even carry a 35-foot ladder. That's funny. We use 24-foot right, ladders. Right, because you're on so, an engine. Yeah, because we're on an engine company. Yeah, there's no place to put a 35-foot ladder. I, I've never heard of that. Like, there's there's no uh, probably other cities in America mm -hmm. with this population yeah. that doesn't have a truck company in Yeah. Service. Yep. And you just you're just gonna rely on other, and you know what's fucked up is uh, I don't know if I told you this, but last winter, we made we made a fire in his mm -hmm. territory because they didn't have a truck, yeah. right? And we went there and we fucking worked, you know, and uh, around that time we made mul we were making multiple fires because it's winter time we were busy, and then we don't have extractors at every station. Yeah. So I <laughs> I asked Harry like, hey man, I know they have one at every station. Like Fox has washed my gear before. Uh, hey, can you wash my gear? And they fucking, what did they tell you? They're like, uh, I said, hey, I let my, the person that I needed to know, know because I wasn't the officer at that station. I said, hey, just so you know, I'm washing my buddy Spicy's gear. Yeah. Uh, he's on, <laughs> they don't have an extractor at their station. Yeah. He's like, okay, well, uh, just so you know, we're not supposed to be doing that because it's a liability issue. Yeah. Because what if they what if these extractors mess up their gear? Well, extractor is to get all, all the carcinogens and things yeah. like that out of your yeah, gear. It's not like a regular washer. No, dryer. it's not a washer, not a normal washer and dryer like oh. you have at home. So um, he's like, yeah, it's a liability issue. What if it messes up their gear? And I was like, like he, like Spicy said, he's like, when I told him this, he when I told Spicy this, he's like. It's okay for us to come down and help you guys fight your fires. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not my ability but to it's, help fight yeah, fires. But, but that's fucked. And I happened to be on that that fire he's talking mm -hmm. about, and it was. I was gonna ask. It was if a you guys beast of ever, a fire. Ever worked together? Yeah, oh, I was yeah. actually I was actually working overtime that Foxy day. Foxy was there too. Yeah, was, yeah. Uh, Fox is my officer on that engine that day, and then I was on. I was riding backwards uh, on the the number one spot, so I was yeah. a handline guy. Yeah. And we get there, and this fucking smoke is just pouring out of this house. Yeah. Middle of winter, is negative seven degrees outside, yeah, with like a windshield of like thirteen degrees. But below it, was, zero. It, it was a cold, cold where your the hair in your nostrils and like the moisture in your nostrils oh, yeah. starts fucking drying out. Like yep. it was that cold, yeah. Yeah, and you know it, it was it was by far probably one of the hottest fires that I've I have been in, yeah. structure wise. And also probably one of the more dangerous fires I've been in. Because yeah, it was a big fucking house. It was a big ass fucking house. Yeah, it was. Uh, we, me and Fox, we almost fell through the kitchen floor. Jesus. And then we almost fell through the stairways, all stairway down into the basement. Oh, also. didn't learn after your first time, huh? No, it was all in the same. It was all in the same first, first time. It in, just so, Yeah. No, that and makes sense. We couldn't. The smoke was banked down to the floor. Couldn't see the hand in front of our face. It was one of those fires, like it was like an oh shit fire, like training oh. fire burns, yeah. where you're like. You know, they Worst smoke it up. Scenario. They smoke it up so bad where you can't actually see anything. Right. Well, this is that type of fire. Like most, some fires you go to where you can you can pick out the fire. Right. This one we couldn't find it. And Fox and where I did it end up being shit. at? Uh, clearing the back side of the structure. Um, yeah, and it went all the way into the attic. The attic. Yep. Oh, Jesus, what started it? Mm, electrical. If you remember, I think it was electrical in the basement. Yeah. Classic. But, uh, yeah, it's like. I was like, well, we had asked for a, a truck company for. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I. Yeah, you'll be all right. Oh, yeah, it's, oh, good. All right. Yeah. So we had asked for a uh, truck company from the Air Force base that we're near, and they didn't have, they didn't respond with them. They responded with an engine company. <laughs> so when they showed up, they had called for Spicy's department yeah. station to bring a truck company down. Yeah. And they brought them down, and come to find out, I was talking to uh, 
another guy that I know that's on the Air Force Department. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, yeah, like, we were staffed that day with the the truck company, but they didn't have a a captain on the truck company, so they didn't send it. But we had it fully staffed. It was just, uh, you know, somebody with the highest rank in that seat. So we sent it to the engine company instead. I was like... We didn't ask for anything. <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense. Yeah. <laughs> and these guys show up. Like, Fox and I come out of the fires. These guys are showing up the first time out, and we're just smoked. Fox and I were yeah. doing work. Yeah. And uh, just smoked. And these guys, like, I don't have anything against females in the fire service. Mm-hmm. But this one that I know on this department, from what I've heard, is the only reason she's in that position is because she is a female. It's not because she has shown the ability to be that in that position. And we have a we have a girl uh, on my department. I would trust her saving my ass any day of the week. You would or wouldn't? I would. Okay. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. Like, she's a beast. Like, hats out to her. She does the job and she does it well. And there, I, you know, I have nothing against females in the fire service. Did she box for the guns and hoses? Yes. Okay, I think I know you're talking yeah. about. Yep. She hit the horn. We were another time we were in your city doing fire operations. Mm-hmm. We had that big apartment fire yep. with all the maydays and stuff. And uh, yeah, at the end of the at the end of the before I don't know if you were there. Or not. No, I was deployed there. Okay, that. I saw Fox then. It that was the opposite. It was like 100 degree day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we were dead by the time we left there, but uh, I just, I remember multiple things from the fire, like the Maydays, we had a couple guys falling out, and then uh, my captain was walking in front of your truck, one yeah. of your trucks, and that, that chick accidentally hit the horn and scared the <laughs> shit out of my captain, That's and funny. he was pissed, and I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then I remember... Uh, this shit doesn't happen in my city, but somebody brought like a dozen pizzas. So then they're like, "Hey, we got pizza," and I'm like, "What? It's a fucking hundred and ten degrees <laughs> out. It, we're getting our ass." So multiple on fire. Eyes. Like I can hardly stand up. Like I'm not gonna eat. I, and usually, yeah, I'll eat. I'm like, well, we're not gonna eat yeah. pizza. Bring me ice cream, like, Snickers bars. Yeah, but I'm, like, that's, but I'm like, that's fucking awesome. Right. Yeah. yeah that's but yeah, sweet. I know the I know the woman you're talking, yeah. the lady you're talking about. Yeah, she's a beat. Like she's, <clears throat> she's actually one of. We have a part time employee also that's that way, but she's there for the t shirt. She uh, she has no ability to be a firefighter. She's just <laughs> there for the t shirt. But you know, uh, so this captain on this rig shows up and the, the she has her three firefighters with her and I'm like looking at this guy I'm like hey Fox look at this guy he's like what he's like look at his suspenders so he's fully packed up his uh, suspenders are down at his knees oh he just forgot <laughs> to put them on dude that happens for sure that's happened to me before yeah. once yeah I, I couldn't remember once I was like yeah. I, I, they have their names on the back of their coats we don't in our, well it's starting to go that direction now but um, so I was like hey you know so and so hey he's like Check your gear. And he's like, what? I was like, your suspenders are around your knees. <laughs> he's like, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then our, our, yeah, that chief, our battalion chief that day was like, hey, Fox and Harris, we, we, need, we need you guys to go back in. We don't have enough manpower. So right. pack, change your bottles out. Get back in there. Nice. And that's the second time is when we almost fell through the kitchen floor because we didn't know the kitchen, the fire was actually underneath the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. So we almost fell through the kitchen floor. Everybody's like, the kitchen floor is really spongy. So we got down into the basement, down in the stairway to go into the basement. And at this time, another engine company was coming in to do a search, search and rescue because mm-hmm. at this time we didn't have trucks. Yeah. And uh, so we do everything here at my yeah. department. Everybody's in charge of doing everything. So they're doing search and rescue. As they're coming down, they called for an evacuation order because we had guys on the roof that almost fell through the roof. Jesus. At this point. I don't know if you were there yet. No, I don't. No, I don't no. think you guys were there yet. No, I don't remember that. But, um, so they called to evacuate the building at that time. As we were coming back up the stairs, the stairs just full of flames. Yeah. Mm. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> Put a little water on it, knock it down. And as I was walking out, I was like, oh, crap, the kitchen is spongy. spongy yeah. Yeah. Like, I, uh, I remember going into the kitchen. Yeah. So... <clears throat> Um, yeah, we, that day was very, that fire was very dangerous. Is that probably the, the most dangerous one you've had? Yeah. Yeah. We, I, I'm Make really surprised. Make your dick hard though. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, like, 
I had just got done eating breakfast too, and I was like, "Fox, I can feel it. We're gonna have a structure fire." I just had that feeling. Sure, shit. Fifteen minutes later, Tony Damn. Trump was working structure fire. You felt you probably yeah. felt it when it started. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And did you tell anybody else that? Or what do you mean? That like you had that, that feeling? Yeah, the feeling. Yeah, uh, just Fox. Were they pissed at you? No, because I did that for the <laughs> Empop fire. Yeah, I put it. It's in the group text, and I I said uh, it was just that super cold and I said hey we're gonna get a multiple alarm today and that was the day that M-Pub yeah. fire oh, and shit. people are still like you motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> like, the fuck? like, I didn't cause it I just knew it still yeah. sorry I'm a day, more elite firefighter than you yeah till this day people are still like that motherfucker yeah. like, dude I didn't <laughs> I love start that. Yeah, I did. so Fox and I like I said we were, we almost fell through the kitchen floor and then almost through the stairs the stairways the stairwell actually gave out after we got out of it and then we had guys up on the roof that the fire burned through the roof and yep. they almost they got off just in time before the roof Whew, fell in man. and they burnt like our it literally burnt our uh roof ladder in half Jeez. oh uh, yeah i saw yeah. that i saw that i yeah, remember so looking they just at the roof and up. seeing the roof ladder yeah like, <laughs> yeah so that was and then you know the other fire department that was there with us besides your department mm -hmm. they uh they cut a huge hole in the side of this house. <laughs> oh, yeah, we helped them yeah. do that, yeah. Yeah, a huge hole, like eight foot by eight foot hole in the side <laughs> oh, of this house. Because yeah. we couldn't find the fire. We didn't know where it was. Right. Yeah. And uh, it was one of the bloom frame houses. So, it, you know, yeah. from basement to the to the roof, li roof line, that's, mm. that's all, just, yeah. you know, fire spread. But, you know, that's by far probably one of the, the hottest and hardest fires I've oh, ever damn. fought. And I, you know, I don't have a lot of experience because I spent a lot of my time on the medic unit, so I don't get a lot right. of No, but that's awesome, experience. though. And that's awesome that you got unscathed relatively. Yeah. You yeah. know, that's yeah. pretty sweet. Yeah, and that house, we actually did a smoke, de a smoke detector installed, like, right over that neighborhood just the other day. And, uh... The house still still oh, has a, just a huge ass board yeah. on the back side of it that's covering up the hole that you guys oh, cut yeah. inside. Side of side window. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, uh, I have two things that I definitely one hundred percent wanted to to bring up to yeah. you that I want you to tell. Um, you have to tell the electric fence story. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know this story? No, I don't think so. Oh my god, right. this, is, <laughs> this is so great. Yeah. So, go ahead. He'll he go can. Ahead. I hear you. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, a buddy of mine, old old Kugler, he's a he's a Marine, good dude. Yeah, really good dude. Hell of a dude. Yeah, hell of a dude. You know, I, you know, he's he he's a combat veteran. Also, he's been you know, he's been to Iraq and Afghanistan. I think both places. Uh, he got actually medically discharged. He had some nerve damage from when he was deployed in one of his legs. I don't remember oh, which damn. one it was. Um, Where's he, he was, at, where's he at now? I think he, he's kind of just all over the place, but yeah. he's out on the West Coast. Okay, because I've only met yeah. him once, and that was at your wedding. Yeah. So, and he, yeah, I mean, I've known about him. I've heard a, a bunch of different stories about the, you yeah. know, about him. And this might have been my first story yeah. about him. Yeah. So. so we grew up with this kid. Uh, he lived a couple of houses down from us from when, we were, when I was a child, me and my brothers. And uh, um, his brother was actually uh, a contractor that was killed in action. Uh, over in Iraq while my buddy was deployed to Iraq as well. So, you know, that was, uh, you know, a tough time for him because his brother was killed while being a civilian contractor over in Iraq. Yeah, I'm sure. And uh, so growing up, this guy was crazy. Like, you tell him to do anything, he would do it. So, you know, we're like, hey, there's an electric fence up the, you know, up the hill from us. And Let's, you know, found it, you know, see if it's on, everybody touch it or whatever. How old How old are you? I would say, shit, we're probably 12, 13 okay. years old. Yeah. Maybe around that time. Just to be, 11, just 12, to be up to there. some tomfoolery. Yeah. Yeah. So, like. <laughs> touch it and they're like oh shit you yeah, know? Fucking, if anybody's ever touched an electrical fence, yeah i have you know, i like, have when i was super young and because of that today i still hate getting shocked yeah, even if it's oh, just yeah. like in the winter and you shock i get so yeah. fucking pissed and it's not like it, for those that haven't it's like you don't when you touch an electric fence it doesn't send you like a a shock a constant shock it's like a pulse like yeah a kick. yeah it's a kick once every few seconds yeah and so you know we touch it and like oh shit stop and then they we're like, hey, Rob, you know, 
grabbed the electric fence. He's like, all right, cool. He grab, like, he grab a hold of it, and he was like, I don't feel anything. We're like, are you shitting me? Right. <laughs> and you know it's on because you yeah, guys were just touching it. because we were just touching it. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I don't feel anything. And he grab it and touch us and fucking electrocute <laughs> us. Like, what the fuck? Come on. Jesus. And uh, I, I'm sure he could feel it, but he was just saying, you know, okay. I don't feel it. Yeah, because some like, people can do yeah. it. Because I remember, like, we would do it where, like, um, like so, like spicy could grab it, it grab me, and then I could grab it, and, like, and it would go through, and I can hit somebody, yeah. and like you can make like a long chain and right. stuff. Yeah. So, and and so he's like grabbing the electric fence, and he like touch a like a weed or whatever, and you can see the spark going from his finger to the. That's weed. so fucking crazy. And like, all right, that's you know, that's obviously on because you can see it. You say you can't feel it, but you could. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden, he's like, we're looking down, we're like. You can smell like something burning. We're like, what in the fuck is that? And his shoes were smoking. <laughs> <laughs> no what fucking, the fuck? No shit. Like, his shoes were smoking no. as he was grabbing this electric fence. We're like, what in the fuck is going on with this kid? <laughs> Run down the hill. We're like, hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. You got to come up and see Rob. Grab shouts out Rex. Fence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shouts out to Rex. Yeah. Uh, Rex. You know? And, and he come, and like, all right, cool, whatever. He'd come up, to, you know, up with us and. You grab that electric fence, you know, touch us, and just be sure it's still on. Sure as shit, his fucking shoes would smoke again. <laughs> yeah, my dad, my my dad was like, my mind is blown. Like, <laughs> dude, what that's the fuck is so, going on I've with this never kid? heard anything like yeah. that ever, dude. You you hadn't heard that story before? No. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, this kid was like. So we had a trampoline in our house also. Like all the neighborhood kids mm-hmm. would come and jump on our trampoline. It's not like today's trampolines, right? Like, our all safety, and you can't really jump that high. We would jump off our house onto our Oh, trampoline. yeah, of course. Yeah, I don't have the safety yeah. part around it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we jump off the house onto the trampoline. Well, <laughs> one of the kids, the, one of the other neighborhood kids caught our trampoline on fire, so there's a hole in the side, <laughs> like, in the trampoline, about 12 inch by 12 inch, you know, 12 inch yeah. circumference or whatever, and... And we'd always fall through that fucking hole. <laughs> of there. course. Yeah. But this guy would do crazy stuff, like try to double double back flips and you know triple back flips on our trampoline. But we fell off that fucking thing all the time. He did too. He'd fall off and just land on his head, get right up, back up like it was nothing. Oh yeah. Yeah. This kid was built for the Marines, but a great dude. Uh, he tried the whole acting career out in California. Got a couple of uh, gigs doing that, but. No, I think he just travels to the West Coast. And shout out to Rob Kugler if you're listening. Yeah, dude, that, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, the smoking shoes, man. I've yeah. never heard anything like that. Yeah, so that. the shoes must have just grounded them. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I then, guess. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever yeah. material those shoes are made Couldn't out of. Couldn't believe it. Yeah. Like, me, if you went to ask Aaron, my older brother, or Andy, my younger brother, and be like, hey, tell me this story about Rob Kugler's shoes, <laughs> they would tell you the exact same story without even prompt. <laughs> that, that's. So yep. crazy. Yeah, all three of us saw it. It was crazy. It was great days, great times. Oh, being oh. I fucking Let's hate and you could get like those pens or those lighters that were you doing at fucking shocks. And my uncle oh, got me yeah. with it once. Yeah. And I just fucking threw it. Yeah. I was so pissed. I hate being shocked. So. Yeah, I, oh, I hate that too. That tingle. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Shock, just the tingle. I yeah. hate it. I hate it. Yeah. I don't like being shocked either. Yeah, just... yeah and working as a, like an, on our job like firefighting like i don't want to fuck with electricity yeah you know? i'm always like because i'm always going through walls being mm-hmm. you know, on a truck uh, going through walls and going through ceilings and i'm always like is the fucking power off and, yeah uh yeah i've i've had close calls a bunch with electricity and i fucking hate it man. yeah and speaking of that i yesterday i had a uh a car accident yeah. on you know the borderline of your city and my city okay. and they get there and there's no injuries and we're like it was pretty good damage to both vehicles so we had to use the jaws of life the spreaders the spread it open so we could get to the battery of one vehicle and uh the vehicle was off the keys were out of yeah. it and i have i have this little special tool that uh, matches like the um, he's talking about his cock yeah <laughs> my, yeah my cock Harry's all cock <laughs> yep He's uh, 200, what, 10 pounds? Yeah, 200. All cock. Yep. All, all cock. Of all of it. No muscle, just cock. Uh, and I'm like, like, I get my tool on there to loosen up the connection on it. And uh, I, I see it. Like, it must have touched oh, another sorry, piece arc, of the metal like and arcing. arcing. Yeah, I was like, 
my, <laughs> back, my hand back real fast. I'm like, holy fuck. And then I got looking at my tool and it had a burn mark on it. Oh, so I'm like, holy shit. shit. I'm like, fuck. It almost got me. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I hate fucking with car bags. Yeah. And people, yeah. Like, nope. I, like I, the shit we do, like you would think like, oh, it's a fucking yeah, it's car, car battery. battery. Why is he being so careful with it? Yeah. Like, I do not fuck with, those nope. things will explode. They're full of acid. Yep. Like they're dangerous. Car batteries are dangerous as shit. Yes. I don't know if people know that. Yeah. I'm super duper yeah, careful. Like same thing with like jumping your vehicle. Oh yeah. I don't I don't like doing that. I don't, I don't like, like doing jumping other vehicles. Yeah. Like I will stand way the fuck like oh, I will yeah. stand behind the car. Yeah. Yeah. So if it does something does go oh, wrong right. where it explodes or something yep. like that, it's not getting on me. At yeah. least the, the, the hood of the car will protect oh, me. Oh yeah. Car, no, car batteries are dangerous as shit. Yeah. I'm careful. And like not being on an engine where we don't do car accidents yeah. a lot unless they're real bad, but like I'll I'll cut the batteries. Mm. I'm I'm more, I don't give a shit about cutting battery. Yeah, cables, I'll cut battery but cables like all day long. Setting up yeah. jumper cables like just normal shit. I'm yeah. like, mm. <laughs> like, what the fuck yeah. are you nervous? And that's why like like I have a I have a pocket a tool of pocket or. A, a tool full, full of pockets, pockets. Yeah, Dude, that, it's pocket, called man. a fanny yeah. pack <laughs> <laughs> so I, like i have like uh like wire cutters i have like nice. a vice grips and i have them my little tool flashlight yeah flashlight's mm. also in there pocket, yeah. okay, speaking of which uh, it's actually another that i have that written down i gotta talk to you about a pocket pussy okay. while we're deployed uh, hell yeah, yeah. um but yeah, I was like, I handed the other guy, the firefighter, second information. I was like, hey, I uh, just cut the battery. And he's like, finally spread it open and just cut the batteries. But I'd rather cut batteries than try to unhook them. Oh, right, and, right. Yeah, and absolutely. One guy get you know, one guy on another shift yell at me for cutting the battery, and he's like, "Yeah, you're cutting the battery. Now they're not going to be able to get it off the road, you know, because you just cut the power steering to the vehicle." I'm like, "I don't, I don't fucking care. The cars, <laughs> the cars." The it's completely fucked, fucked anyway. Right. The car is yeah. fucked. You're not you gonna we gonna start it. Yeah. Right. Like, if the car is yeah. fucked up. You cut the cables. Yeah. Like, you don't. Fuck yeah. Well if the car is totaled, it's it's, yeah. it's it's totaled. So, right. but yeah. So, <laughs> you said flashlight. Yeah. Shouts so, out. So out. going back to my Romania stories. So I like I couple, like where this is going. Yeah, just so we're worth. A couple same. of guys had ordered flashlights off of Amazon. Nothing wrong with that. Which which smart. smart. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so for the people that I don't have one, I've never had one. But from what I've heard from the guys that have them, like you have to use lube with these. Yes, like, you have oh, to use yeah. lube yeah. with them. Yeah. But be, otherwise, you're gonna just rub your dick raw. Yeah. And uh, makes so, sense. You're fucking something. You yeah. Know. Yeah. And it's not self lubricating. No, right. so. no, no, absolutely <laughs> not. So, uh, you know, that was a very like couldn't find lube. No one could find lube while we deployed, so they have to order it off the internet to have them Amazon shipped to it. But one guy <laughs> had his mom. Ship him a pocket pussy. His mom sent <laughs> okay. him a pocket. Okay, I have pussy. so many questions. First of all. Did he already own it? No. And so she had to go out and find him yeah. one. Now, if he if he has a good relationship with his mom, the mom always wants the best things for their kids. Yeah. Do you think she did research, or did he just tell her, "I want this, go get this," or did she like ask somebody compare? Like, listen, I'm sending he, my son's deployed. Yeah. Like he needs to get off. So he I'm, wants the best. <laughs> yeah. Pocket pussy. Yeah. Like it's either this. Or he's fucking these mountain whores. Out in <laughs> yeah, I don't want them true. fucking yep. mountain whores. <laughs> yeah, get them the best. I can't have a I mountain hooker like grandbaby. It's no. just not gonna yeah. happen. Yeah. So like, so do you know? Like, do, do you know how that went down? Like, I, say- I honestly have no idea how it was actually sent to him, but. You know, it's, it, he was like, "Yeah, my mom sent me this." You know, it was it, I think it was probably a pretty cheap one. Oh yeah. You know, it probably wasn't most uh, very expensive. <laughs> Still right. watching good fights. fights still yeah, the yeah. these bitches are banging. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they're crushing it. Yeah, so one guy, his mom sent him a pocket pussy, and dude, that is that's fucking. Shouts out to that mom. I don't that know. Is phenomenal. Like, I don't know. If, like these guys like left them in Romania or tried to sell them to somebody else. I don't know. <laughs> dude, if you did. buy a used pocket pussy, you have bigger things in your life you need to deal with. <laughs> yeah. That may be the low. That's rock bottom. I yeah. feel. Flesh but lights. you got to do what you got to do, yeah. I guess. Yeah. That's yeah. that's strictly like if you got money, shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I, I, 
if it was me, I'd probably just fucking left it in a drawer someplace. Oh, yeah, so for somebody else yeah. to find, 100% yeah. you do that as yeah, a Yeah, because, I, you know, I'm coming back to my wife. I don't need one. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah, and that's, dude, that's so funny. Or you put it in somebody else's luggage. Yeah. I, I saw a, a video where these guys uh, were going through TSA, and I think, like, this dad, there was an adult kid, so um, he had, like, a full beard and stuff. But while he wasn't looking, they snuck in, like, these two huge dildos, like, in his <laughs> bag. So, like, when they asked to, like, pull over, they had to, like, pull him out of the bag. And the guy's like, I I don't know what that is. And they, like, are just busting. Like, she goes, let me guess, you didn't know that you were in here. And he just fucking turns red. It's so funny. So that's, like, what, like put it in somebody's gear, yeah. like like the colonels. Yeah. <laughs> you get it just, like, thrown in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh... And that's another thing about Romania. So we deployed with a chief warrant officer was my commander. He's a CW3. But uh, so the army's big and doing OPSEC, so operational oh, yeah. security. Mm-hmm. So you don't fucking post videos and pictures of where you're at. Yeah. You know, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, 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 things like that. So my uh, my chief warrant officer had a drone while we were deployed, and. Uh, Kind of looking at Facebook one day, and noticed that there's pictures of our base on Facebook. <laughs> the whole layouts, <laughs> yep. Ready, yep. Yeah. What's a better view than an aerial view yeah. of your base? And I'm just like, sure, you probably could get all that stuff off of Google, but right. According to the army regulation or military regulation, you're not supposed to be doing that. That's and pretty like, funny. <laughs> no one. It, you guys know, like for the civilian people out there listening that don't know military life. Um, Chief warrant officers, they they're scamming. They're worse than an E four scam. Oh yeah, you know they they're they're scamming for sure. You know they they do whatever the hell they want to do. No one says shit to them. That's you know? the way to go. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yep. So of course no one said anything to him about him posting these pictures online. That's why he base. did it. A hundred percent. You know I brought it up to uh, my my chain of command. I said, hey, these you guys can't get mad at us for posting shit. And then let the you know chief warrant officer yeah. do it too, but of course they're not going to say anything. To it's the same it. chief that was there when I was there. Yeah. Did I ever tell you the story of what yeah. he told me when? Yeah, when you got your yeah. Yeah, yeah that. I don't I, know I'm the not, story. Are you? We can probably, tell, just tell me after. I, yeah. I could tell it on here, but it's yeah. it's embarrassing. Yeah. More for it's super embarrassing for him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He well, just a, wait. You can tell yeah. me. He had. A, yeah. I won't even. I won't. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't. Conflict. Yeah. Yeah. It's hilarious, though. Yeah, I can't wait to hear it, though. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's going to be great. Yeah, it's definitely one for off, off yeah. the podcast, for sure. Yeah, it's an addiction. Yeah. So the... <laughs> yes. Um, so the other story I definitely wanted to hear is um, we have a Army Snapchat group. Yes. And uh, it, it pops off every once in a while, which is great. Long started it, so I think it was like right before he deployed. We got to talk to him a lot. Now that you know Medina's deployed and shit, you get to talk to him. And it's just great to keep in contact and just send stupid shit back and yeah. forth. Um but I remember, I think it was Wilburn um, who sent, like, this thing about pigeon racing. Yes. And you had said that your wife's grandparents Grandpa. train Grandpa. pigeons for racing. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I thought that chat was going to fucking explode. I'm like, what are you talking? And we talked, especially Wilburn and yeah. I, I was like, this is amazing. Talk to me about this. Okay. So I'm not really exactly sure how it works. So, yeah, so you can p- train pigeons to go from one point to another point. It's called pigeon racing. And there's actually money involved in this. Like, right. People win money off of pigeon racing. So my, uh, my wife's grandpa, um, he's getting old now. He's got cancer. He's, he's you know, unfortunately oh, getting ready to, you know, die and... And uh, so he has like this, like this pigeon house behind his house that's really nice, like decked out for pigeons. Like it's like a shop for like a house for pigeons. It really is. But he like he trains these pigeons to take them out to certain like he'll before he got sick, before he got cancer, he bring them to Lincoln, and yeah. he would set them out, 
so or the where they'd fly home from Lincoln. Dude, that's so awesome. fucking crazy. Yeah. How do you train them? I don't know. I honestly, yeah. I have no idea how you go about training them. God. But yeah, they would fly right back to where they where their home was. Oh. And, you know, sometimes it would take them a day. Sometimes it would take them two days. And sometimes they, they probably just, just don't show yeah. up. Like maybe they get taken out oh, by yeah. a hawk or something. Yep. You know. Yep. Dude, that's just so fucking... Pitches, pitching racing is a real thing. If you Google it. Google it. No, I know. We've <laughs> talked about it so much in that chat. Like, I yeah. was just... You're like, yeah. You're like, uh, uh, Timmy's grandpa does that. I'm like, what? Yeah. And then you sent the pictures of this, like, Playboy penthouse. Uh, it's fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Man. It just blows my mind. Like, how do you fall into pigeon racing? Yeah, I don't know. He's, yeah. always, he's done it for years and years and years. And God. You know, it's, yeah, I guess there's, I sent out a fly. I think I may have sent a flyer to the group that was like, for the winner, is like $5,000. Yeah, it's like a decent amount. Yeah, Yeah, so it's it's pretty crazy. And I'd like to find out a little bit more information on it, but then again, also, it's. Like, what are you going to take over the family business? I'm sure it's a lot, but uh, it's fucking, that's just insane. Yeah. So whenever we go out to her, their house, I always go out to check out the pigeons because he still has so the pigeons. So he still has pigeons yeah. in there? Yep. Hmm. Yeah. So what, like, what's going to happen to him when he passes away? I think he's going to just give them away. Yeah. To, I was going to uh, say, you just open, he knows just open up the it. roof and just, like, yeah. be free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think the idea is, is, like, when they when he does pass away, I think he's going to give it to some of the other people he knows that fly pigeon, race pigeons. So. And his pigeon racing club? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they're out there. I don't know. What do you think their slogan is? Like pigeon racing, like watch rats fly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, know, yeah. you, you, you know what I mean? That's fucking perfect. Yeah, yeah, what they probably have. Yeah, exactly. That's actually. Like that's they really it. are. Like, they're rats. Like, yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. So Especially crazy. like the the wild ones that you see on the street. Mm-hmm. But obviously, people say no pigeon's good. Have you ever had it? Have you ever ate it? No, I've never. No, I'm, I've I never either. Haven't either. But I'm sure that the ones that he has are probably not bad to eat. Yeah, they're they're housed, they're fed, yeah. right? Normal bird food. So do you yeah. do you think he he uh, he gives him steroids or cocaine? Oh, oh that's a good. Oh, I don't know if probably don't P- that PEDs. Probably. Yeah, for sure. Heads. Yeah, that's, yeah. You don't answer that. That's... Yeah, that's I I mean, no, he doesn't feed them. Peds. <laughs> Peds. Oh, <awesome. laughs> Pigeon enhancing drugs. <laughs> that's phenomenal. Yeah, it is. Dude, that's, I just, I just could, that just blew my mind. I was like, the, to find out that there's pigeon racing and then yeah. to find out that I know somebody who has a direct yeah. connection with pigeon racing yeah. just fucking blew my mind. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. crazy. It's just, that should have been like the first thing when you first started dating. Like, as soon as you found out, yeah. you were like, what? Yeah. Because you probably didn't know about I it. I didn't know until... about it until we went out there one day and I was like, what's in that house behind there? And, and Timmy's like, you know, it's my grandpa's pigeons. I was like, what does he have a house full of pigeons? Who the fuck has pigeons? pigeons? Right. It's like, oh, oh, he races them. I'm like, what? <laughs> Instantly right there, I've been like, you're fucking with me. Yeah. Like, no. That's exactly what I thought. I was like, yeah, originally, exactly. I was like, no way. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah they they really race the pigeons. Pigeon racing, is, it's a real thing. Fucking insane. Man. Speaking he, of which, I probably should check to see if there's any podcasts out there about pigeons. Yeah, there, I bet there's a subreddit. Yep. I guarantee <laughs> right. oh, that yeah. there's a yep. subreddit. Oh, do you, does he name them all? I don't know if they have names or not. I honestly don't They gotta so. be like Icebird. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Like That's Twinkle Toes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just, yeah. It's just it Rat Tail. would me. Honestly, I don't know. That's just is insane. Yeah. I, I just feel like I would rather like dog race than pigeon race, but like it's like you just don't hear about it. So to me, it's so intriguing. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. How big is the community? Like how yeah. many people? Are, is there like a outfit in every mm-hmm. major city or like how? Right. Yeah, it's crazy. Hmm. PRL Pigeon Racing League. Yeah, it's what, just like what's the big the name times. Of the league. Yeah. 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 And you know it, it, it had to start like way back. So when they were sending messages back and forth, like you know running yeah. foxes, and then you know like sending pigeons and like yeah. crows. Then they're just like when the telephones came, and then like the mail, they're like we can't just in case shit goes down, right. in case Yellowstone blows, we need to get 
pigeons out. Yep. And people are like, well, look, why don't we just make some money to see who's the best? Yep. So it's 2018 and people are still fucking pigeon racing. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's crazy, dude. Dude, I want you to send years. a pigeon to Timory and say you're going to be late tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. She's not at home. So. So, yeah. oh. you She's actually find... out at her grandparents' house. Yeah, even better. Yeah. Like, hey, send me a pigeon. Do you think if we, if we time it right and set it up, you can have a pigeon deliver us a message while we're podcasting? That would be and cool. It's just like, instead of like, because, you know, we've called Meston once yeah. or we've called a couple people. Like, oh, we got our, our pigeon, like, mail came in from Harry. What does he say? Yeah. And just, see, you know, like, yeah. instead of emailing us a question, you just pigeon send us questions. Yeah, that's <laughs> just murder. <laughs> yeah. Man. And just be like, well, just <laughs> we'll send the pigeon back in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> just a carcass. Yeah. Sorry, my cat's Sorry. got yes. got Orange cat, so gray cat right. just yeah. did not like that. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. They'd rape it. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. Coco would love it. Yeah, Coco would lick it. Just lick it while they're having sex with it. Just lick its mouth. Sick like all bucks. weird. He does She's, weird stuff. Coco, are you eating ass? <laughs> he's, 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 he's like eating. lick his mouth and then lick his ass. Yeah. Coco's cats, eating pigeon ass. Yeah. Well, the cats are just fucking. It'd be like a triple team on the cat yeah. and the pigeon. Dude. Uh, the cat on the front. Yeah. And the cat on the back. Yeah. Insane. And a Coco videotaping or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a fucking GoPro on. <laughs> but he can't move because he's so short. Like, the yeah. GoPro's just so heavy. Uh, yeah. like, it's just yeah. face down. Yeah. It's just carpet dragging. <laughs> I can't get that image out of my head. Yeah, me dude. neither, dude. I'm 100% at some point in the next two weeks having a dream about uh, <laughs> eating ass. Like, pigeon oh. eating ass or something. <laughs> I guess. Like, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, ha- have a weird like crazy sex dream where I'm eating like this chick's ass I look up and it's just a pigeon head like what the <laughs> hell <laughs> that's funny <laughs> so crazy man well yeah I mean we're uh, we're approaching oh, the, yeah, the three hour mark so we're at two hours and 47 minutes man oh boy yeah so we could start wrapping up is, is there anything else that you want to say I mean we'll go through our shouts out and fuck yous and stuff but is there anything else uh, no I, that you can I'm, think I'm of? glad you guys could have me on yeah man. we're finally glad that you yeah. made it dude we could talk for hours yeah. yeah so we didn't even get to any of the the 245th who looking uh, shit that we, we used to do yeah. we didn't no get a, we didn't get a talk about like our fucking my final at yeah. to like san francisco oh, and, well, and well we can get in a little bit of that That's yeah we can yeah. two two things what are you watching on netflix right now um uh, right now i i actually just got done watching uh 13 reasons why oh okay, okay. Um, that's two seasons out of that, yeah, right? Yep, two seasons on that. Uh, there's a third season coming <clears throat> out, from what I understand. Uh, that's kind of hits at home because you know, spicy and I, we deal with a lot of people that commit suicides, right. and you know, it's a it, it happens all the time. You yeah. know, you know, unfortunately, yeah, you know people, you uh, know people, pack nasty, pack nasty knows people that's done it as well. Um, everybody's affected by it, yeah, one oh, way yeah, or another. So, so. Um, I think it brings a lot of light into the, like a lot of the issues currently that mm-hmm. are going around. But uh, that I really enjoyed that. Um, I also, I I also watched the ranch. Oh, I fucking love yeah, that guy's show. Yeah, yeah. I fucking possibly. love it. It's it's, it's so uh, great. So anybody that's not familiar with it right now is it's it's got the, basically a lot of the same cast off of the '70s show. What, mm. what season are we in? Right uh, now? They five. just they just got oh, done Jesus. part five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so it, it's really but it like it has Sam Elliott and it's great. Yeah. And I, I've talked about it. I didn't like it at first because I didn't realize it was the first Netflix show that had a laugh track and I didn't know it had a laugh gotcha. track. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's good. once you figure out how it goes because they like they drop the f bomb a lot and there's yep. like stuff and it really is good it, yeah. and um the, just the dynamic with you know ashton kutcher sam elliott yep. um uh, i can't think of his name the guy who plays rooster uh i'm yeah. just blanking on his yeah, name yeah, but uh danny know. matheson is, uh, yeah. but yeah so i mean it's, it's just a phenomenal i would suggest watching it and then they have a lot of people from that 70s show, show like come in and make come, cameos yeah, yeah. and shit like that yep. so i i do definitely suggest in there like this it. season who? red yeah red foreman the guy who played do you, did you ever watch the 70s show no. oh okay no. so yeah it's a it's, phenomenal yeah. show too okay. but um i watched the office when i was deployed did you oh, do, i just i just finished, I just I finished that absolutely love the office yeah yeah it is phenomenal yeah um i didn't bring it up last because we'll talk about it probably here in a couple days or a couple weeks but 
Um, yeah, I, I just finished it as well, and it's 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 up there for me in all time favorite for shows. Sure, yeah, for, for sure, sure. Yeah, which again, I knew going into it, it would be yeah. because of what everybody said, but yeah. <clears throat> it definitely uh, exceeded my expectations, even with that. So, yeah, those are the two that I've been watching here recently. Um, yeah. I, I like watching some of the documentaries on there. But oh, I love that. Did you watch Evil Genius? I have not watched that oh, one. Yeah. Watch that shit, Is it? dude. It's four <laughs> parts. It's about the bank robbery. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, watch that. That one's solid. Other than that, I can't remember any documentaries that are yeah. on there that I've watched recently. So it's been a busy summer. I've been watching it. Uh, we've been watching a lot of the uh, CrossFit stuff that's on there. There's a lot of documentaries on CrossFit oh, on there also. I so. know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, no, that's good, dude. Whatever. You know, I, I, Netflix, you can get lost in it. Yeah, I see, that's, I don't watch a lot of documentaries. Um, I mean, I'm all, but you know, Planet I'm Earth. all about comedy. Yeah, uh, I mean, I watch for fuck yeah, yeah I just know. get faded as yeah. shit and <laughs> watch Planet Earth. I just yeah. had it on the other night because it was just rerunning on BBC. Nice. Yep. Fucking love that show. Um, dude, no, that that's awesome. I can't remember. Have you got into Ozark at yes. all? Okay, so the new yep. season drops at the end of August. Season two is oh, coming out. It's, it's, it's end of August. I knew it was yeah. coming up. But I yep, end of it. August. So August. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna hit up on that because I'm watching right now. I just finished season one of The Wire, uh, which it's an old show. It came out in like 2002, but it's on HBO. And a lot of people, every time I hear of like best shows of all time, The Wire always comes up. People really? like Breaking Bad, yeah, uh, Game of Thrones, uh, The Wire, and it's it's different. And but you gotta get in the mindset again. It started in uh, 2002. Yeah. So, um, but I, I I love it, man. It's good. It has a young young Michael B. Jordan in it. He plays. Really? Yeah. He, I didn't re- I didn't re- I didn't know he was mm-hmm. in it. He he plays in it and it's the and the thing is it's only 60 total episodes. So the f- it's like first season's 13 episodes and it's like I think maybe the second season has 12 and then it's like maybe a 10 and then like a 13. So it won't take long They're They're an hour long, but it, it it's really good. So um, it's, it's filmed a little bit different. It always takes me like two or three shows to get kind of like how they're doing it, you know, to get on their feet. But yeah, it's, it's really sucking yeah. in. I'm really liking it. So I wouldn't, I don't think it's better than Breaking Bad, but no. at this point I've only watched the first season. Yeah. Yeah. So, and again, but it's much earlier and, time scheme so right. that's kind of where i'm at but i think i'm gonna watch oh the second season of ozark before i jump back into the wire yeah. so once that comes out and they got a lot of just different shows coming um i, I bill burr's f is for family i think that that third season it's a cartoon yeah an adult cartoon the that family should be, or, uh, um, f, f is, is for, for family. family yeah i yeah, love that I love it so that one oh. i should be coming out here relatively soon there's another I one think. that's uh, a cartoon that i just watched on netflix Let's is it the uh, nick kroll one uh uh large mouth big mouth or whatever yeah or is it is it yeah? What I, I the kids going it. through puberty? Yes, yes, I haven't seen it, but yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, it's Nick Kroll's. I, I yeah. just listened. Nick Kroll was on the podcast, and I listened, but I've my, heard it's great. My yeah. army unit told me about that, and I I've only got one episode in, but yeah, it's pretty fucking good. Yeah, yeah it's hilarious. Yeah, but, I mean, there's that's the thing is right now you just got to cut what you want to watch mm-hmm. and what yep. you don't. Yeah, and so I watch them. I'm really trying to get to the point where I'm cutting out a lot of like network TV just because if I can sit down and like with Netflix and mm-hmm. watch you know oh, yeah. something through and there's no commercials and shit. Um, or stuff on HBO. Like I've never watched The Sopranos. Eventually, I definitely want to go yeah, through and watch yeah, The Sopranos. So, um, but yeah, there's. I have a list on my phone that eventually, like, I don't watch Shameless. I would like to go watch Love through Shameless. Yeah. Shameless is fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. so. Fantastic. But I'm just you know picking and choosing you know yeah. kind of you know where we're at here. So yeah. Shameless is one where yeah we we watch the shit out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's definitely you, worth the watch. And uh, Always Sunny comes back. Oh, September fuck 5th. yeah. Did you watch Stranger Things at all? Uh, I watched the first season, and I've watched, like, maybe the first two episodes. Dude, second, second season is so fucking great. Second season is good. Uh, Narcos, I'm still not caught up on it. There's no, a lot I'm of shows. I'm done with that one. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm on, like, season two and a half, I think, of Narcos. There's a bunch of shows on my watch list. My watch list is gigantic, dude. I yeah, just right. think, I, it's, just trying to get into it and watch yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Ozarks, Always oh. Sunny. Uh, if Stranger Things comes out with the season three, like, those are... The big ones, yeah, for me, yeah. I'm kind of I'm excited. I'm always excited for uh, it's always sunny. So yeah. um, I'm, I love that show. Oh, Danny yeah, v- De- DeVito is perfect in I, that show. Absolutely, I think it's going to be the last season. I, season think so. thirteen, I think it's going to. No, be they good. signed thirteen and fourteen. Oh, so they they signed they, oh, they signed did? two. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm thinking is they're going to film all of them and just right. release half. Yeah. Of them Which is, you know what? 
good. You yeah, know what I mean? They sure. broke like records, I you know, with oh, it yeah. and shit, and 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 that's phenomenal. But yeah, I can't wait. We had, I'm sure people who are you know fans of this podcast are like, God damn. Oh, yeah, it. gonna, <laughs> so yeah. now we got the whole first 45 minutes is going to be dedicated yeah, to all sunny. Just Fuck sunny. these guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right, man. I fucking all, love that All show. three of the people that listen to your podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's true. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Mikey, they're, they're the most loyal. Vito. <laughs> they're, they're the most loyal three fans that yeah. anybody could have. Yeah. That's right. No, we do, we do have a lot, which is awesome. Like I said, Mikey, Spencer, Vito. I know Joey listens to everyone. It, you, um, when, I, when I travel to Des Moines for my uh, drill week and I listen. Yeah. I got a couple guys in my new army unit. That yeah. are like, hey, every now and then they'll be like, hey, man, listen to the podcast yeah, about this. I really wish we could have got into a few more stories about the two four. Yeah, I know. We will. Dude, we'll story. have you back, dude. Like, yeah, it's, a, so we got so I'm many so people. Like, we want to have Whiny back. We yeah. got a million stories with him. Oh, and yeah. so maybe we'll, like, maybe just do, like, a 240 fifth sometime. That would be great. great. You yeah. know, yeah. that would be a lot OG. of fun. So. Yeah, the OGs, for yeah. sure. Um, do you want to go through our shouts out and fuck yous? Yeah. And we'll yeah, let's do it. get out this bitch. Uh, do you want to go first? Yeah, sure. Okay. So my, my shouts out are all, they're all family related, pretty much. So I want to give a shout out to J-Hole. Yeah, shout out to Mama P. I want to give a shout out to J Pags. I want to give a shout out to Cam. This is the first weekend we podcasted yeah. where she's not here, so she's yeah, not it, helping. It's a shit it's show. It's a shit show. Yeah. Like, uh, we got to clean up after ourselves. <laughs> yeah. The nachos aren't done when we're. Right. It's just insane. <laughs> so, we're going to fold. So, it's yeah. underappreciated. Shouts out. Shouts out to Timory. Yeah. He beat then, me to it. <laughs> and then my. Uh, my only fuck yous are to fucking Zima and fucking Smirnoff Ice. <laughs> I hear fuck you on that one. Who's <laughs> drinking that shit? Yeah, do you want to go or do you want me to go? Uh, I'll go. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Shouts out to the old wife. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me let me come out on this weekend, even though she's not even here. She's at <laughs> her grandparents' house. Got but, you on the leash, huh? Yep. But Fair uh, uh, hopefully, we'll be making a kid before too long. Yeah, We're yeah, still yeah. working on that. So we'll practice we could, makes perfect. We could po- we'll just yeah. podcast one. Of yeah, we'll yeah. just podcast that we, that day. Right? Yeah, yeah, not. Yeah, Nothing. and then maybe the birth. Yeah, oh, and then uh, shouts out to you guys for having me on. Oh, Appreciate yeah. it. Shouts yeah. out to the two forty fifth OGs. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, fuck yous. Fuck yous. Uh, fuck you, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it right there. <laughs> so I have some shouts out. Uh, shouts out two four five as well. Um, shouts out to Deep Freezers because they're fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, you know. Hell yeah. Um, shouts out to Furries. Yeah. And then uh, kind of along the same line, shouts out to Mountain Hookers. Yeah. Oh, 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 shit, <laughs> just, I didn't even think about that. Oh, yeah, you got to. You got to. Out, out there just doing now. work. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Um, I just got two fuck yous. Um, fuck yous to the toilets on the plane that broke down for four hours. Yep. That sucks. And then uh, fuck you to Crock-Pot Liners. Yeah. So I do have one yeah. one, one yeah. question for you guys because, I, you know, you guys ask for questions. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know if anybody sent any, but I've got one question for you guys. All right. Okay. Well, we'll end on this. Let me get out my notes. Oh, it's getting official. Would you rather eat chocolate cam- chocolate-flavored shit or shit-flavored chocolate? Damn, that's a great fucking question. Read it, read it one more time. Would you rather eat chocolate-flavored fav- shit or shit-flavored chocolate? I'm going to say shit-flavored chocolate. I, I think I say that the reason why is because in my mind, shit flavored chocolate is much smaller. I just see like one little kiss yeah. where if you do like uh, chocolate covered shit, I, f- I just see like either like a human log or like a dog log. You know, I don't see it being very small. You know what I mean? The way I'm seeing it is it's this, let's let's picture a Hershey kiss. Yeah. Yep. One looks one is shit. That tastes like chocolate, and the other one is chocolate that tastes like shit. That's the way I'm seeing it. They're both yeah. the same size. Same size, yeah. Oh, okay. See, in my head, I didn't see it that way at well, all. Well, you can, you can you interpret can it. it. Yeah. It's up yeah. to yeah. No, yeah, no, I know that, but that's why I would. The way I'm seeing it is they're both the same size, but one is actual shit, and yeah. one is chocolate. I'm going to go with chocolate because you're not going to get E. coli or any of that right. shit. It's just going to taste bad. That's a fucking phenomenal question. Where no, the other one's coming, and it doesn't say where the shit's coming from. Human no. shit is way different than deer shit, whatever. Right. Either way, I'll take the bad taste. We put some fucking hot sauce on it, and I'll fucking uh, yep. eat it down. Hell yeah. What's your... What's I, I'm the same way. Like, <laughs> I think that's the smart <laughs> way. Yeah, I, I honestly... I actually just thought about this question right before we did this podcast, okay. so I haven't had a lot of time to think about it myself. Okay. So I'm kind of on the wire like you guys are. Um, honestly, I'm kind of looking at it as like Nasty does here is, is just the... 
just a small amount of chocolate, mm-hmm. I'm going to take the shit flavored chocolate. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because that's a that's something you can just get rid of. You know? Yeah, as soon as you said it, like my head went to like you know how when we get together sometimes we'll do the chocolate flavored like uh, bacon and mm-hmm. the strawberries. Okay. I just see somebody doing that, and melting down the almond bark, and just going out and getting just like a, a turd, like a dog turd, laying it down and just dumping that over it. <laughs> where where if it's just the chocolate flavored shit. Yeah. Yeah, then it's, I just saw a Hershey Kiss be like, oh, I can get that down. Yeah, yeah it's going to taste like shit, pun intended, obviously. <laughs> but um, here's another way I, I actually just thought about looking at it. So you're eating shit that's hu- that's coming from waste from something right. Right. versus eating chocolate that just tastes like shit. Yeah. At least you're you know that hey you know my yeah that's what he was saying yeah just like with like the E. coli yeah Yeah. you don't want to fuck around and get hepatitis folks stay away from hepatitis (laughs) yes everybody's worried about uh, AIDS but it's it's hepatitis that I'm worried about in our business for sure yeah well hepatitis is more dangerous yeah in our line of work absolutely for sure. sure. With that, that's all. God I have damn, Nasty's great fucking question. I appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, anything from you? No, sir. Um, again, we're at Nasty of Friends Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and keep sending in your questions. We yes. have one question yeah, in fucked. our inbox. We've been. I put a Facebook post about it. I've done Twitter. <laughs> Send us some fucking questions. We want to do Q and A. We'll probably answer the one here in a couple weeks yeah. that we have. Hopefully, we have a, a, um, another couple in there yeah. by then. But it's just Nasty and Friends at Gmail So you, you guys. Remember Remember, life is simple. Don't be a dick. Night sluts. Who? Motherfucker, yeah, yeah! <laughs>